Aggressive typing. Is it aggressive? Maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just too aggressive. Hmm. Anyway, so apologies for no streams uh, on Friday and Saturday. Uh, Friday, the internet wasn't working. And after that, um, a, a hurricane was coming into Moncton from Nova Scotia. Or as the weebs call it, a hurricane. Uh, and by the time it got to us, it was a tropical storm. So we had... We kept power for most of the weekend, uh, but some places in Moncton lost power. Uh, the, the, it was flickering a bit. Um, the internet was spotty on Saturday. Um, Sunday, it was mostly great. It was fine. Uh, and yesterday, it was, it was dry, and today it's raining again. But I don't think it's another another uh, hurricane or tropical storm now that it's here. It's just, just rain. I don't know. if Apparently, there's another one coming in. I don't really pay attention to that. Um, Lily does, so I don't know. Lily might tell me. But yeah, that was it. Uh, I f think that we can stop Starfield. I did go back and play Starfield a little bit on my own. And let me tell you, maybe the streams we did were not that representative of the quality of the game. Because uh, there was a side quest that we missed in New Atlantis that I did on a new save file. And um, let me tell you, uh, there was this whole ass corridor, museum, lore dump, where you go from like presentation to presentation and they explain the whole ass world and at the end there's like a flight sim thing that you do that i haven't done yet because i saved it and turned it off at the end before i got there and like that's all side quests so sorry rip steen's gate but at the same time like todd what are you doing like <laughs> there was this whole explanation about like what happened to earth and like all the different factions that are in there and, and the colony wars and all this like oh, there's this huge history dump and i'm like what like this would have added a lot of context so when i played the game there was like even like information about um uh places of interest around the universe around the, the systems that i hope you can go to like like a forgotten a lost city where they had to like blow it up and like can you go there like i don't know but like like damn man like what are they doing why why is that so if you don't know what i'm talking about remember when we were with sarah and we went to the um to the uc to get something i don't remember i can't remember what we were going there for so, some information and the guy was like hey you want to join the 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 uc like uh militia or whatever and we were like no i'm busy I'm, i have to do this shit for constellation if you say yes to that then that takes you down to like a should be main quest introduction to the whole entire universe like I can't, I can't believe that they let you skip that. Like, like a, a, the fucking uh, the Clippy or or like the Clippy with Todd's head should pop up when that happens and goes. So you know you can skip this, but you really shouldn't. It's really important if this is your first time playing. So I suggest you say yes to the. Like I can't believe that you can skip that. But yeah, anyway. So um, I feel like our playthrough is uh is borked. But anyway, we uh we ended with the um with the funny music bit so that's it so we're playing lies of p today which i wish was actually called lies of joe and then we could flip it to joe lies down because joe's tired like holy shit uh and anyway um this is going to be the last game that we stream until october we're going to stream alan wake one and two in october because i really want to do that um and then uh i don't know how it's going to go after that we I, I need to go and do do different work so i have to go 
or else I'm gonna lose the whole channel and and Twitch because because fuck it I'm not I'm not living with the where is Witcher three guilt trip anymore so either we get it done or I'm I'm going so anyway I have to go for a bit to maximize my chances so that's that anyway let's get the game going good luck thanks feeling pretty good about it I even and this is how you know it's serious I even just in case even though I don't think it was causing any issue but just in case chat I have quit evolve I have temporarily evolve heads it's over I have I have quit I closed it I saved it I backed it up and I have I have closed it and that's it no more evolve I know. I, I, I know. I know. But just in case. It's probably fine though. Uh, also, I realized that we're supposed to do fan art. It's weird. How? Why Why is it that it's like Fridays or, and Saturdays tend to be like the most vulnerable days when it comes to, oh shit happened and we have to stop. I wonder if it just builds over the week. Nah, I think it's just coincidence. Um, anyway, so we'll do fan art tomorrow because I don't like starting fan art on a new game. Uh, or a new game with fan art. Um, but yeah, apologies that we didn't do it. I was all ready to go, and then the internet was, like, um, blipping in and out on Friday. Doo -doo. So you guys addicted, now you quit? What the fuck? I'm temporarily quitting. Temporarily. What about your scrimblo particles that you need to make a skibbity collider? There was a really funny comment on on uh, the subreddit, which is, like, basically, like, when Joe talks about Evolve Idol... Hold on, can I can I find it? Is is what the hell is Evolve Idol? Is it even a real game? Every time I try to find it, I can't. Is it a bit? Am I being gaslit? And then someone responds with, Evolve Idol questions be like, Hey Joe, I've got a herd of 20 rainbow striped unicorns who seem to have taken up competitive skydiving instead of producing gumdrops, leaving you with a dark shortage of sugary sustenance for my 100 mischievous leprechauns. How in the name of marshmallow rainbows do I crank up the charmometer to unleash a torrential downpour of lucky trinkets? And I wanted to reply this, and I wish I had, and reply this to me like, that's silly, don't be silly, in, in Evolve Idol, when when you're unicorns, the most important thing is that you, you're tracking the phases of the moon when you build your unicorn shrines in order to get the right bonuses that that, that are synced to which phases of, of the moon that they're on. Because <laughs> that, that's actually true. Because that's actually what you do with the unicorns in Evolve Idol. <laughs> anyway, let's get Liza P on. <laughs> That's that's absolutely real, yeah. If if it's if it's a full moon or or, or a waxing moon or a waning moon, yeah, like the, the unicorn shrines do do different things. Wait, there are unicorns? Wow, you don't know about the unicorns? Do 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 all right, so I played the game a little bit today for like uh, 20 minutes just to make sure that it ran and OBS recorded it. Uh, during that time, I realized that I'm really bad at deflecting and I died like three times, but then I got to the first boss and killed it my first try. So I don't know what the hell that's all about. Really inconsistent performance. All right, do we want to, to change anything in graphics? And also, is it too loud? You play without? We, we streamed it already. We streamed it already. We did it. We, we did the demo. This game does shaders the first time you load it, and then it doesn't after that, so it's already better than Jedi Survivor. Uh, motion blur. Motion blur. Motion blur. Motion blur. I don't, I'm not seeing motion blur. First menu. I am still not seeing motion blur. Is it under gameplay? Oh, it's under game. Why would it be under gameplay? That's weird. All right, motion blur off. Ooh, the music. Music too loud? Music too too quiet? Music just right? Is it Goldilocks? Geppetto? Just right? Alright.
So no Steins Gate, Lies of J. No Steins Gate. The side quests in Starfield were, were ended up being um, better than Final Fantasy 16. Now lying. Okay. In honor of the great writer Carlo Collodi, wrote The Great Gatsby. Can you hear me? What other game opens like this? Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Persona? Persona doesn't open like this. Life is strange. No, I mean like the actual first scene is very similar to this. Persona 2 does? This, this, that's a lie. There's no Persona 2. Okay, isn't this just the girl from Armored Core 6 again? When did you play the demo? I can't find the VOD. Uh, it was one of the game showcased uh, ones that is not... Um, you cannot use this right now. Oh yeah, this on the floor. Uh, that, didn't, that doesn't go on YouTube because it's copyright hell. I see they got Jiminy too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot, and I'll explain what's happening. Sophia Dees. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Oh no, they got Jiminy. I didn't read any of that. Uh, d have I enjoyed some garlic bread recently? I I did actually. I had some garlic bread yesterday. Well, garlic garlic pizza kind of thing. Would you see this garlic bread, Lily? Let's get you out of there. The garlic like finger thing? It's kind of. Yeah, kind of, it's garlic bread, bread adjacent, right? Yeah, yeah it's not, okay. Not as good. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Okay, so when I played earlier, I tried Path of the Path of the Cricket. You can also buy all these three weapons right after this, or soon after this. I tried Path of the Cricket. It seemed all right. I bought this one, and I didn't really like it that much. And I remember liking this one last time, so we're going with this one. Also, there's stats here. This game is very like the most Dark Soulsy Souls like I've played in terms of how it feels. Most like which Dark Souls? Dark Souls 1 and 3. Like the, the way the character moves around, it's very Dark Souls 3. Uh, the way the jump is, you run, you stab the analog stick down, the way dodge works, it's it's very much like those. I, I haven't played another Souls like that feels this much like Dark Souls. Uh, it's not identical, but it's very, very similar. Alright, we're locking on. Alright, so I, I'm really bad at deflecting these guys. Let's see if I got better. Oh, we did it! Nice. So there is a perfect deflection in this game that I'm very happy about because that means I don't have to just dodge and roll. I'm happy about that. Why is Pinocchio so hot? Yeah, it's really confusing, isn't it? bloodborne -esque? Yeah, it's very bloodborne -y. All right, it's a little loud for me, chat. I'm going to turn it down. Hopefully it doesn't turn it down for you. Maximum number of pulse cells. Use a pulse cell to recover HP. There is a maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. What? If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cell will be gradually recharged. What does that mean? Crack Grand Exposition 18XDX with... Witness the greatest show on Earth. Experience the future of the world. This is not the future. Hmm. 
Hmm. Alright, so we have a regain system whenever we take damage. Oh, is it only block damage? Hold on, can you hit me, dude? Oh, it's only block damage. Interesting. Alright, so if you block a hit and get hit, you can have a regain system where if you hit the enemy, you get your health back. But if you take damage, then it doesn't doesn't work. Why do they have blood? It's, it's red oil. It's red oil. Is it blood or is it just oil? Maybe we're secretly not a robot. Legion arm. Okay, that seems pretty busted. Let's just do that. Guard. You can block enemy attacks by guarding. If your guard is successful, your character will take reduced damage but will consume stamina. The reduced damage will be transferred to guard regain. Guard regain accumulates but gradually decreases over time. When you, when you, while you have guard regain, you can attack enemies to recover HP. So it's only when guarding. If a guard succeeds right before being hit, it triggers a perfect guard. When a perfect guard is successful, you will not receive damage, only stamina is consumed. You can use perfect guards to destroy an enemy's weapon or put the enemy into staggerable status. Destroy the enemy's weapon. Hmm. So if I do this en enough, his gun is going to break. Oh, it did! Huh. Okay. Very British bathroom. Very accurate. Don't forget to sharpen your weapons. Oh yeah, I remember that. You go down here and you go like this. Whee! Can you over sharpen? Is this their first game? I don't know who made this, so I can't say. Someone in chat will know. Someone in chat always knows. Okay, backstab tutorial. Rear fatal attack from behind an enemy RB. So there's a little sign that shows up when you can do this. Feels pretty good. your first game? I wish I made this game. I would be doing super successful if I had the budget to make this game. Like, holy crap. This game was expensive. While dashing, left to jump. Oh no! Man, I am bad at, at deflecting um, their slow attack. Oh, you can read it. I like it when textures are high enough in games that you can read it. However, I wonder if this is like a boomer take. I wonder if a lot of people that play games now are just so used to the textures being high enough quality that they can do this, whereas like it still has novelty to me. It's like, ooh, I can read it without having to, uh, to inspect it or whatever. Like, I'm guessing it's pretty common now, but it's still like, it's like, ooh, fancy. There are doors and ladders to all throughout Krat that are locked by devices. You can unlock these doors to go or go down the ladders to create shortcuts. Okay, so we've been playing for like, I don't know, a couple minutes. How is the sound? We good? Good. Good, good, good. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let us heal. Ooh. 
Stagger Bolt. RT, hold for a charge attack. While you are attacking, a white outline will appear on the enemy's HP bar. When this happens, you can make the enemy staggered with a charge attack or with Fable Arts. What's a Fable Art? Okay, fail attack, face a staggered enemy plus RB. A fail attack can be performed on staggered enemies. If successful, it can inflict heavy damage. All right, so. Neat, all right. This looks like it has some neat ideas over the usual from stuff. Yeah, it has it has some added systems to to a really uh, good foundation, right? Like having the deflection there is is pretty cool. Um, there are some attacks that you can only deflect. You, uh, I, it was a little confusing actually. We'll we'll see it coming up. It's in this area. Welcome to Yarnum. Is it executing the FromSoft baseline well? I think so. It, it feels good. If you've played the first Lord of the Fallen or the first Surge game, Dark Souls 2, um, those games feel kind of weirdly floaty. There's, there's things that are off about how they play. Surge 2 feels a bit better, but still a little odd with how you target. Code Vein is another one that I feel like is, is a Souls-like that really understands the core of, of how these games are supposed to feel. Um, Unfortunately, you hate to see it because Code Vein is, is anime rainbow vomit, but like, yeah, it, it feels pretty good, Code Vein. Um, and this feels good as well. Uh, use, use a Stargazer for fully recovering HP and stamina as well as charging your pulse cells. You'll be revived at this point in case of death. Remember, this, is, this process also revives enemies, not just your character. Alright, so we're in the first area, first... Uh checkpoint let us say thank you to people and once again because more people are here now apologies for no streams on friday and saturday uh we had internet and power issues there was a, a storm that came in uh we didn't get much of it where we are but it was, still was a uh a factor so apologies for that and also because of video projects uh we will uh be stopping streams momentarily after this playthrough in order in, until October. We'll stream something in October just to keep streams going a little bit with Alan Wake 1 and 2. And then after that, I will decide when they're coming back, uh, depending on how things are going. Unban requests. What? Who's Who's got the unban request? Oh, it's, a, it's only a 15 minute ban and you you've requested it? Oh no, it's not. What's this? Last message because Starfield main story is very bad. You got banned for that? You know what? Deserved. Deserved. We stand Todd here. Anyway, uh, thank you too. I can't remember who's last person I said thank you to. Uh, Dark Sleeve, Double J, Scruffix5, and Crude Oil, and. Uh, Kamina for resubbing while the stream was down. Thank you for Daxir for the resub while the stream started. Thank you also to 33 Shay, Jaco9307 for the resubs, Zero Vault for the bits, Real Quaid for the resub, Kidney Automata for the resub, Ev Boy Wonder for the resub, The Boulder for the resub, Avanlonicus, so hard to say, for the resub. Can you give me an obnoxiously loud and long sip of water? I can do better, I can do it with coffee. Hold on. Thank you. That's the unbanned request, Joe. The last message they had called you a bitch. Shouldn't you get banned too then, K? <laughs> Thank you, Eduardo Savs, for the resub. Thank you, A Tiny Rat, also. Cringy Corin, Richard Maziak, It's Matthew McCarter, The Mule123, Royal Flush 9, Curly Ray, Lightning Bolt, OG Rancho, for the resubs. Thank you, Lord Fifth. Lord Fifth is it? That is a strange name for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, strange name, Lord. Thank you, Taxon, 14 for the resub. Chitalian, 
Said it right the first time this time, I think, for the resub. 12 months! Welcome to the one-year club. Thank you, Lemonade Standing. <laughs> uh, Lily is tilted. True! Mr. Starfield streams, were they cream? Parts of it were cream. Some of the bugs we found were really were really funny. Chat seemed to really like the last bit that we did. That was pretty fun. Thank you, I am doodles, or EM doodles for the resub. D M E Luca. D Maluca? Hopefully, one of those. And the last uh, string on my list is Velcre with a new sub. Welcome, welcome, Velcre. Jafficon, the place to, to, to talk about how much you love Jaffa Cakes for the resub. Zorgrox for the bits. Master of Segways for the resub. <laughs> Can't wait for the Snow White Boomer Shooter. I'd play it. <laughs> Snow White Eternal. <laughs> uh, last Isis for the resub. Tier 3 resub. 33 months in Tier 3. Holy shit. Thank you so much, last Isis. Thank you, Cowhill555 for the resub. Buy a marble for the race. Oh, God. And thank you, Skyrux, for the new sub. Welcome, Skyrux. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. All right, Blastos, Blast OC, Blast OC. What is what is your uh, anime that you are putting a marble in for? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Welcome to the NHK. Thank you for the welcome. But what is your anime? Welcome to the NHK is a Japanese novel written by a name I can't pronounce. Uh, Welcome to the NHK revolves around the lives of several young adults all living in and around the city of Tokyo. Many different lifestyles are shown, th th though most of the time the story focuses on the concepts of being a, a hikikomori, a reclusive individual who withdraws from society, anime otaku, and having most of the characters experience intense feelings of depression and loneliness. Um, was there a Hiko Komori character in the book World War Z? And it was told from their perspective of people that they were sh they were following the outbreak while not going outside, like it was kind of like a game. I feel like I know that concept before. Yes, and that chapter was great. That chapter was great. I agree. World War Z was a pretty banger book. All right. So I'm seeing the concept, but this is this like slice slices of life instead of slice of life. Okay, let's read the my anime list one. 22-year-old college dropout. Oh, we're up to college, not high school. Daring. Ta Tatsuhiro Sato has been a hikikomori for almost four years now. What? In his isolation, he has come to believe in many obscure conspiracy theories, but there is one in particular which he holds unshakable faith in. The theory that the evil conspirator behind his shut-in neat not in employment, education, or training status, is the Nihon Hikikomori ki, ki, Kyokai, an evil and secret organization dedicated to fostering the spread of Hikikomori culture. And it turns out, you know what, he's right. NHK is a psychological dramedy that follows Tats Tatsuhiro as he strives to escape from NHK's wicked machinations and the disease of self-fraud isolation. Just go outside, Lamaya, while struggling to even leave just his apartment. Oh, there we go, and find a job. His unexpected encounter with the mysterious Mizaki Nakahara might signal a reversal of fortune for Tatsuhiro. But with this meeting comes the inevitable cost of having to face his greatest fear, society. Okay. Weebs, you realize this is like like the equivalent of that that trope in the late 90s, early 2000s when it was like, oh, this, this nerdy, ugly girl is like, oh, she's so shunned, she has no friends, but then she goes upstairs and takes her, lets her hair down, takes her glasses off, and is like, oh my god, she's gorgeous! Like, it's the same shit, man. Anyway, this, uh, this could be interesting, depending on how it goes. Anyway, I will, uh, I will... Take your marble as cashed in. Definitely not the worst one that we've had. Mark is complete. Came out in the 2000s. Oh, that means the animation is probably going to be pretty good on it. All right, that's good. All right, so I'm curious if we if we rest on it at this. This is 
called a stargazer. All right. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, gather ergo, clever one. Ergo. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. I'm guessing it does last forever. That coral almost killed you. Alright, so vitality. Vitality increases um, uh, our defense and health. Where's our health? Oh, it's right there, down in the bottom. And also, guard regain? What's Is guard regain the amount of health we get back from, from attacking? Alright, then we have vigor, which increases our stamina, which I'm guessing is just uh, our ability to, to attack. And then we have more defense. Uh, then we have capacity. Legion? What's Legion is our our robot hand punch thing? Okay. And it also increases our weight. Oh no. Actually, you know what? It increases the weight by quite a lot. Okay. Motivity? Physical attack goes up. Also a little bit of defense. Okay. Here's my hot take for these games, chat. Every single stat that you upgrade in here should just give you HP and take away the HP stat. And then you can balance around like like average levels when you go through about the amount of damage that comes in. That's what I think every game should do. Just just take away the HP stat and everything gets HP and then you decide, do I want attack with HP, more stamina with HP, you know, defense with HP, that, that's what we should do. Um, technique, what does that do? Oh, that's, oh, so some weapons need motivity, some weapons need technique. I wonder if some weapons take advance. What's advance? Legion? And I'm guessing this is like magic or whatever? Hmm. Alright, our stamina is really low. I mean, stamina up. First thing you want to do in these games is make the green bar longer than the red bar. See, right now we're not doing very well. Our green bar is nowhere near the length of the red bar. We need to make the green bar way longer. Alright, did that little mini boss come back when we used the Stargazer? I would actually like to increase our damage so we can kill these in two hits. It didn't. Okay, so mini bosses don't come back. Alright, when I go out in the rain, will the rain clear off all the oil that I have on my uh, beautiful blouse? It does. All right, cool. Now, if this was a Bethesda game, I would point out that it started cleaning it even before the rain was hitting me, but uh, it's not, so it gets a free pass. No bias around here. Nice whiff there. What if I, like, tap it? No, it doesn't do it. Alright. What if I let it go? Seems like it's possible, but... Hmm, okay. Yeah, they learn from Sekiro and stop that abuse. You can't really do that in Sekiro all that effectively, though. There are parts where you have to, the, the chains come at you so fast that you need to do that to, to, to tap block them all. But um, if you try and fish out something like that, it usually doesn't work. Isn't there some, like, like the window gets longer the more you try to do that? Welcome to City of Krat. In honor of Valentinus, who erected the Cornerstone of Origin. Oh, what's going on up there? Is that a person? Can you roll through barrels, destroying them? We need to find a barrel first. Hmm. 
Okay. So, the fact that you can guard and then get your health back after guarding is pretty forgiving. I wonder if that's going to get much harder as the game goes on. Alright, let's read something just to piss people off because I don't do this Dark Souls. The Crack Grand Exposition has been delayed. The decision has was made to protect the citizens until the puppet frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabella Street or Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop and Van Nigny Company, Kratz's largest puppet factory, announced they would offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. Hmm. Alright. What was it about the, the healing charging? There was a second page. That's that's for, for Vadi to read, not me. I've already done my part. Honestly, I've already done enough. Whoops. Okay, I'm gonna heal. Charge attacks, and we can charge the the fists as well, which is very powerful. But this yellow thing is going, or orange bar is going down on the left. Uh, like if if I keep hitting, will it break? Oh, even if I don't hit anything, it goes down. Uh oh. All right, how do we get it back? Sharpen. Shit. Sharpen. Nope, it's not coming back. aesthetic so far, right? Circus. So, uh, I don't remember Pinocchio. Hmm, that didn't look very good. There was this weird stutter there with, uh, how he moved. Pinocchio story is uh, Geppetto makes Pinocchio. Pinocchio, he wants a son. He doesn't have one. Fairy godmother comes along, makes Pinocchio live. But if you find the true heart or whatever, you turn into a real boy. If you tell a lie, your nose grows. Uh, something about a whale. Uh, something about going to where some kids are and they all get drunk and turn into donkeys. I don't remember the end. Forgot about the cricket. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. J Jiminy Cricket is the, uh... You, um... Is, like, his, his conscious or whatever. <gasps> A barrel! Yes! Alright! Aww. that okay
do 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 some enemies become oh here we go some enemies become red and use a strong attack called a fury attack you can't dodge or guard fury attacks but you can counter with a perfect guard all right so when it says you can't dodge it what i think what it's saying is that you can't iframe it because this game must have iframes because it's the souls like so like he's gonna do the right attack right and well, i can dodge it look look i dodged it ha 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 so i think it means you can't maybe it tracks you This guy's is like terrifying. Getting some Pierre Poly of You vibes from this guy. Oh no! Alright, that's actually pretty tight. Okay. There we go. It has to be the last part of the, of the charge attack that works. Okay, tricky. All right, I like it. Cool. Cool. Who's, who's it? Is that Jiminy? Or is that us? When their health bar flashes white, they're close to being a stagger. Yeah, I know. That's why I went in for the charge attack, and it was just the second one that did it, right? I wonder if you keep attacking them when they're like that, if they'll get staggered, or if it has to be a charge attack. I think it has to be a charge attack. Okay, is this game better than Dark Souls 2? Let's see. If I do a heavy attack, and then I do a light attack, does the animation of the heavy attack flow smoothly into the light attack? So heavy attack, then a light attack. Ooh, it does! Oh, nice. Oh, all right. I like this so far. What about light attack into a heavy attack? No, well, kind of a little bit. Oh, it does, there's a new attack. So heavy attack by itself is this sweep, and light attack into a heavy attack is... Yeah, it does. Alright, pulling back into a stab. Alright, cool. Hates Dark Souls 2. I like Dark Souls 2, but it is kind of shitty that Dark Souls 2 does that. Man, I just... I can't get the timing right. <laughs> it just feels like as soon as they start, like, oh, we got a healing back. How do we get healing back? Dark Souls 2 is the best sword holding animations. It is the best for fashion souls. You gotta give it, give it that to them. Anyone else pog when they finally got the the armor from the trailer? You're like, oh, it's that armor. Nice. I don't really get why the sharpening mechanic is there. Maybe you have to do it in the middle of a long fight. I don't know. Oh, weapons bounce? Never mind, dropped. Drop. All right. What about after two light swings? Light swing, light swing. Now heavy. No. Now it resets. Okay. What about three light swings? Three. No. It's just a two combo. What about two heavies? Heavy, heavy, light. No. But they kind of move together. 
You know what else has, has really good animations that string together? Genshin Impact, except for the third in Eula's chain, which snaps the character into this weird awkward state because it doesn't flow together. And if you watch her closely when you're chaining her attacks together, you will notice that. Really annoying that the best character in the game has this like awful snapping between the, 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 the third attack. Nobody plays that. Literally one of the most popular games of our time. What are you talking about? Doesn't mean it's good. Alright, so we're back here. Okay. Why are you looking so closely at Eula? Look closely at Eula and you'll figure that out. Alright, so what is the what is the purple going on? What was her name from Armored Core 6 Man? It sounds like her again. What is, uh, so if we, if it's like Hollow Knight, if we get, if we have no healing, we can earn one healing charge back by fighting? Practice? Seems like it has to be a charged heavy to knock them down when they stagger. Okay. Stargazer activated. That font looks like it's from a whole other game, huh? Or Twilight fanfiction cover. Alright, we can level up. Alright, we need to green bar. We need more green bar. Hello there. Welcome to Karat, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs. Man, look at our hair. They can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. This certainly is acted. I was thinking the same thing, yeah. Out here alone? You could use some help. Here's a festival gift for you. Now get yourself something useful. Useful? Alright, so this is where you can buy the weapons. So I beat the boss after this. So you can buy the different weapons. I like the weapon that we have, so I'm not going to buy the other ones. But you can buy them and see. Well, you know what? Let me buy them, and I'll show chat what they look like. Alright, so... So you go here... And uh, this one. So these are the other weapons. So this is the um, the rapier. All right. So heavy attack has a backwards step afterwards. So R one advances. R two attacks with running away. What about art or heavy into a light? No, it doesn't seem like it. Alright. Oh, pretty fast. Okay. And this is the other one, it's a cutlass. What about heavy? Heavy into light. Ooh, pretty smooth chaining them together, huh? I like it, alright, cool. Alright, but I like uh, I like the other one that we had. Uh, do they have more weight if you put more than one on? Where's our weight? 
top right? No? Really? Oh, it does. You have to actually put it on, though. Alright, so if you want more than one weapon, you can do that. So this scales really well with motivity, uh, a little bit with technique. This scales better with technique. What about the other one? This one scales better. Oh, it's C with, with both of them. Okay. Apparently we get more left arms. Geppetto's name is faintly engraved on them. Alright, so is Geppetto like the Dr. Light of this universe? There is no unarmed attack. Interesting. Mega Man! Mega Man! Here appears a terrific puppet that will enliven the parade, introducing Parade Master, a remarkable parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the grand ex ex expedition. <laughs> Hello there, I am the Parade Master. I like singing and marching with people. Alright. They call me Gato, I have metal joints. Beat me up and earn 15 silver points. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. I don't think that had a second page. Uh, thank you to Inalib for the resub. Thank you very much, Inalib. Thank you, Delighted Moth for the resub. Thank you, Charitable Coffee Maker for the resub. Haunted Curio also for the resub. Zelante for the resub. Dalmec for gifting a sub to Broken Alex Plus Fairy. Alright. Alright. Not so lewd. Thank you, Dalmec, for gifting a sub to Harmva. Oh, there's Lude. There's Lude. The twice the twice banned fan artist. Well, not banned. Like, twice crossed the line fan artist. Thank you, Dalmec. Welcome, Harmva. Thank you, Alken, for the resub. Or Alken, for the resub. And thank you, Falco5, also for the resub. Alright, it's boss time. Burning. What is this music? Yes, join the parade. What parade wouldn't be improved by having this thing? What is it speaking? Oh no, the second one missed! Should I heal? Wasn't a fluke, what I did earlier. Pretty easy. But first boss, it's fine. Parade Leader's Ergo Quartz. The special kind of Ergo with the...
Parade Leaders Ergo. 5,000. Oh, it tells you how much you get. Oh, nice. Dark Souls, take notes. Ergo, obtained from the Parade Master. It is packed with immense power. A treasure hunter may want this rare Ergo. Ergo, go give it to them. Although the entire audience just disappeared in a pool of blood, the Parade Master was cheerful. As long as there's a king, the, sh the show must go on. You know what? I'm feeling the lore. I'm feeling it. Where's this quartz I heard so much about? Uh, usable items. Material. P organ. A porgan ability activation part. A colorful tiny ergo fragment. It activates a special ability when equipped to the, to the P organ. Pinocchio organ. Your nose. There is a special kind of ergo with different... Sorry, there is a special kind of ergo with different color and vibration. The workshop uses this gem to bring out puppets' different abilities. Okay. So in Bloodborne, we have to go to a puppet to level up. In this one, do we go to a person? Huh, we almost have to repair our weapon in the fight there. This tutorial area is like 50 times better explained the mechanics than any DS ones. Do you think so? I think that Dark Souls 1 does it quite well. Like, are you... If this was your first Dark Souls game, do you think that, uh, or Souls-like game, do you think that you would be understanding the stats as much as you do? Like, you're, you're coming at it with a lot of knowledge already baked in from playing the other games too, right? But then again, a lot of people play these kind of games, so maybe that's fair. I think that was a pretty good starting area. I like that. That was good. Can we break open the fire hydrants? Nope. This is my first Souls-like game. I do not understand the stats fully yet. I'm at the third boss. This is your first one? Oh, nice. That's a pretty cool experience. Yeah, so stats are, the stats are really confusing in Dark Souls as well. I remember the first time I played Dark Souls, um, I leveled up. <laughs> uh, resistance is a lot, because I thought, hey, it, I, I'm taking a lot of damage, and I want to, and I don't want to get poisoned so easily. I'm going to level up my resistance. It's like, just fucking stupid. Like, I wonder if Finn had an easier time because, because uh, I, t I told him not to level up resistances. You know, there's certain things I was like, don't, don't level that up. Oh, Finn is Finn is legit better than me at a game, and he is better at than me at Gemino Kart. Or Jumino Kart in Stardew. He has beaten it. He has beaten Jumino Kart. I can't do that. He has beaten Jumino Kart. He's insanely good at it. It's scary. He beat Prairie King too. He, he has both arcade machines in his house now. Oh, I hope he's okay. Hotel Krat, the greatest luxury you will ever experience. Okay, give me a sec- Treat yourself to an unforgettable day. What from software combat system is your favorite? Oh, Armored Co- Uh, change. Sekiro, easily. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. So you'll have to lie to get inside. <laughs> You're a special puppet after all. Oh my god, I'm gonna lie! <laughs> I'm not a special puppet at all. Is there a lying mini game? Why Pinocchio? Who thought this was a good idea? It's so weird! Hidden Moonstone. The Moonstone was not from this world, however, it was the most optimal enchant enhancement material. And that's all she wrote. Okay. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna lie. Welcome to the Sanctuary of the Grand Covenant. Prove your identity. Who are you? Oh, let's- let's- Oh, should we lie? I actually- am I a puppet? Human. Grand Covenant's fourth wall. A puppet cannot lie. Oh. First lie, achievement unlocked. Your springs are reacting. 
I got no strings to hold me down. Oh no! Uh oh! Uh oh! What happens if you lie? If a puppet can't lie, does that mean lying is your path to becoming human and a, and a real boy? Makes sense. This music. Alright. I know how we're getting out of here. Lies. Of. P. Pies of L. Okay, w w what's this? Let him cook? We done? This was the game? Thank you, Fatoshi Shimano, for resubscribing. Just like I knew you would. Thank you for the resub. Thank you, Aren. Hoxty? Let's go with Aren. Thank you very much for the resub, Aren. I can't say your last name. Sorry. Still a better intro than Starfield. Why does the parade mascot robot have a, have a cage for bodies? Just in case he goes crazy? You know what? Just in case. Let's add a cage. Oh man, chat likes this game. Wake up, Pinocchio. Wake up and... Alright. I'm thinking we shouldn't lie anymore. Are we lying? Hmm. It's lies of P. Maybe we should lie. Now lying. Alright. Waifu? Machine Maiden? I'm so happy to see you. Oh, God. I am Sophia. I've been waiting for you. In my... Searched all over the city of Croft to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Croft is dangerous for humans. And that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. She's a laifu? Is she lying? You can level up through Sophia using the, the ergo in your possession. You can increase your stats when you level up. Okay, so she was in the hotel? Why can you, like... Is Gemini. I think he's in shock. Gemini. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so <laughs> calm. I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. I can fix her. Wait, take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. All right, so this is very on-brand uh, Dark Souls bullshit. Okay. All right, dare I say, chat? Trying too hard, right? I think this is trying too hard. Yeah? It is, isn't it? Do you all understand what I mean? It, it's... she. They're trying too hard. Dress isn't bad. I like this aesthetic, though, so I'm a little weak to it. I think trying too hard. Yeah, but I don't care. Okay, that's fair. 
switch. Oh, this is where you can switch our legion arms. Hmm, okay. I heard about you from Geppetto, but to see you in person. Wow. You should take this. Geppetto left it with me. You, Gemini? Okay, what is it? Waifu 2. It's Laifu 2. Oh. What the hell is this? Legion Arm. Legion Arm is special equipment that is equipped on the left arm. Each Legion Arm has its own combat ability. Legion Arm can be modified into all sorts of forms. Modifications can be used using the Venigni Craft Machine. Puppet String. A lot of details here. Alright. Greetings! <gasps> the sound of it alone. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. You must be something else. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. If any of your weapons need work, bring them to me. Union? Communist crap. Around a weapon. Want me to look at something? A stargazer is a survival device used by the stalkers. It powers itself by Let me go on Nexus mods and download the one that the mod that removes the mention of a union. The stalkers installed That'll show them all across the city. Once they're recovered, we can put them to use. If you want to test your skills or try new techniques, head for the garden. The stalkers captured a puppet to use for training. Don't look at me like that. Everyone hates puppets. I know whose side you're on. Whoa, I I am a puppet. You probably are too. Okay, I'm learning that I'd rather have no lip syncing than bad sync than than bad lip syncing. Alright, upgrade hold on. I know my way around the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so upgrade alter handle. What are handles? You can bring Eugene Cranks to alter weapon handles. Each handle's properties upgrades based on your character's default abilities. You can change this property and grade one time with a handle alteration. However, you can always reset it with a balanced crank. So this, this changes the, the scaling. So this, this will change it to A rank on motivity, but nothing on technique. That's interesting. All right. If you have a, a moonstone, Eugene can help you upgrade a weapon's blade. The weapon's attack power will increase when you upgrade the blade. Some blades can only be upgraded with special moonstone. Alright, so should we upgrade our weapon chat? Not enough materials. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing five ergo! Ergo, we can't do it! God damn it. Alright, hold on. Oh, there's no animation that makes you have to sit through it as they smash it open. What's the point then? Way a All right, it's upgraded. It's plus one. This is the garden for training. Zombies. Hmm. Okay. Great fortune to all visitors. Rest for the all travelers. Blessings to all friends. Oops. <gasps> What's the blue in the top left and also the top right? Why, why, why three times? All right, what does that do? Oh, it's like charging up a special. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Fable arts. Use blade fable arts while guarding youth 
what? Weapons have distinct blades and handles that each have their own Fable Heart. Oh! So that changes the Fable Art as well as the, the scaling. Interesting. Fable Arts use up Fable Slots, and different Fable Arts use a different number of slots. Charge Fable Slots by attacking enemies with weapons. Alright. So it's like Hollow Knight. Alright, so what's this? Okay, what, is, what the fuck does that do? Is it like a... It's like an even better parry. Yeah, it staggered him. Maybe it did more? I don't know, actually. You can read the descriptions. It's weird, it doesn't say first time chatting next to your name. It's just like Rabby Ribby, your favorite game. I do like Rabby Ribby. It was pretty good. It used your key. Did it really? No, it didn't. All right, is it just an easier way of getting parries off, maybe, the buttons? Alright, the purple is, is filling up. Alright, so can we get... M that got us a healing charge back. But you can only get one. So your your last healing charge, you can get back from attacking. Alright, I kind of like that, actually. Alright, some cool ideas here. I don't know how the balance is going to happen. You know what? Let's actually read it. What does it do? Shit. <laughs> Uh, perfectly block the enemy's attack temporarily. All right, so that's a no matter when you use it, that's a free perfect block, pretty much. All right, so it's 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 spending energy to get an easy perfect block off. All right, that sounds like it's situationally pretty good. What's your hand upgrade do? Oh yeah, let's let's go try it. Man, we are loving this garden, huh? All right, puppet string. Awesome. All right, does it come back? Or is it just because we're in the garden that it's coming back? Oh, it's a big stargazer. Teleport to another stargazer. Switch legion arm. Okay, puppet string. If legion arm... A legion arm that can release a wire, it can be strung around an enemy to drag it toward you or move it you toward it. Oh, okay, so those were stationary enemies, so it didn't work. Trace, press and hold the legion arm button to track an enemy. I can't read it. It's... Put it on a black background, please. Enables dodging after a hit. These are upgrades. And we can go back to our old one, which doesn't have anything special. Okay, let's go with this one. This one's more interesting. Welcome to Hotel Crop. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service. At Hotel Crot, comfort and calm walk hand in hand. Welcome to Hotel Crot. How may I be of service? How's the performance? It's pretty good. Feeble Catalyst. Catalyst made to supplement puppet abilities. Rapidly charges Fable. What's Fable again? Is Fable the one that uses our weapon arts? Legion charge. That Oh, that's with the Legion arm. Okay. And then Sawtooth wheel. Oh, it's the throwing knives! Okay, we don't use those. Interesting. Alright, um... We can find records. That's good. I had something to say, but I can't remember it now. Oh, anyone else who's played this game? What happens if you don't lie at the door? Does it, does it say, well, then you can't come in, Lamayo, go away, and then you have to come back and lie? Yeah? Okay. Oh, you're a boss later. I expect guests are welcome. We don't insist on reservations. I am Antonia, and this is my hotel. Welcome. 
No. I knew from the moment we met that you're Geppetto's puppet. He did have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. He took off for Elysium Boulevard, and he never came back. If it doesn't turn up soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> <laughs> Geppetto of the Abyss? Oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for him. It comes with a long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. And do take care of yourself out there. Someone's memory, show off clothes gesture what's going on with your with your face hmm okay I like grand clocks like that All right was that new clothes equipment Defense parts. Weight goes up to 1.8. What? No. The new one is on the left? Really? Oh, that's weird. I don't like that. Also, like, it, it, it looks like it's going... Like, I'm reading this, I'm like, oh, I have 5.8 and it's going down to 1.8. But it's like, no, it's going down by 1.8 to 5.8. Oh, that's so weird. Okay. That's a lot more defense for 1.8. Let's do it. Costume. Uniform of a sophisticated and dignified boarding school. These clothes have been worn before. The, the uniform of a boarding school famous uh, in Krat. The initial M is engraved on an elegant brooch. Ooh. You know what? I like it. I'm digging it. I, 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 I can't believe how quickly I changed my mind. I so changed my mind. Okay, let's keep going. It was a good outfit, Joe. It's making me uncomfortable in ways I don't want to discuss with chat. We're not doing it. We're sticking with this one. Is this the way out? Knock on the door. Knock, knock, knock. It's locked tight. All right, we're gonna come back here soon. Do we stargaze out of here to teleport to a new place? Or do we um, walk out? Okay, we need a key. Okay, is this the way we came in? You can purchase items for Polendina at the hotel. Yeah, I know. Is this the way we came in or is this the way we leave? When do you think inspiration turns to ripping off in games? When it doesn't add anything of merit on its own, then it's ripping off. But honestly, we just need to get over it. It's it's fine to steal. It's okay. Amateur artists borrow, mature artists weep. That's how it goes. is mature artist steal that's that's the saying all right is it just boss time again oh okay it's gone hello hey, Hi. let's be more careful ah, the black rabbit brotherhood i hate these guys but don't be alarmed my name is Gemini. we'll talk later when we're safe
Okay, I thought we were talking for a second there. All right. It's a cuff game. Our cuff isn't talking. It's it's the 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 lantern on our butt. This is a butt game, not a cuff game. Store. One of Kratz's oldest bookstores. Yep. Will he ever be able to parry that? Ever, ever. All right. So another round of uh, of same enemies. Interesting. Perhaps does not bode well. Let's see. You're on fire, Pinocchio. It'll pass. He lied. Elysian Boulevard was a regular rich people row. You wanted fancy boutiques and shops. <laughs> No place better. But that was long ago. Before the public frenzy. Ooh, chest. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh, we died! Oh no! Lie or die? What? Alright, someone's knocking on the door. One second. I think it might be Kate, so I'm gonna mute the microphone. One second. Okay, sorry about that. I, uh, very important that I knew about the watermelon toothpaste. Very, very important. Thank you to Swazi Magic for the resub. Thank you, Dalmec, for gifting a sub to Pinocchio's Wooden Left Nut. Thank you, Dalmec. Thank you, Dad's Toes for the resub. Thank you, Kuna Moroku for the resub as well. Thank you, Nutella Happens. Uh, just, just, like, what the fuck is going on? Thank you, <laughs> Left Nutella happens for the resub. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Kaner, also for the resub, and Good Speller for the resub also. Oh, that didn't look good. 
What about the right one? Well, that's why we're trying to find Geppetto. Okay, so range on the heavy and charge attacks is a bit low. Sawtooth wheel. All right, not respecting the common system enough. I'm, I'm eating shit. So I feel like I want to get my, I want to use them all so I can be generating more as I play, and we're just gonna be a one health charge Andy for the whole run. Can you charge light attacks? Mm, no, you can't. Chat, how Pinocchio is this game? Pretty Pino. <laughs> nice. Whoa, enemies block bullets? No. Really? <gasps> Holy crap, the tech! The tech. Skip directly over me. Oh, did I? I'm sorry. Or are you talking about something else? Is it a sub message? What the fuck? No. What? What's going on? Important message missed. I don't, I don't see you. Just in case, thank you, Grog Unicorn. Because I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what's going on. Let's move on. Thank you, uh, Cho Chozet, or Chozet89 for the resub. Thank you very much. Miss Lord Dump at the Stargaze streamer. Oh, I'm sorry. Star Fragment, Cross Dimensions. All right, Lada F-150 frame. Frame. All right, so this is even heavier for even more defense. Okay, what happens if we get too heavy? Does this game have any original ideas? Does any game have any original ideas? Name an original idea. And I will tell you how Nintendo did it first. The, the puppet string yet. We should use that. Boob slider. Boob slider is present in Mario is missing. Secret subtitle, his boobs. Chamber of Machina Workshop? Oh, who's this? Okay, it didn't work. The puppet thing didn't work. The puppet string, it didn't work. It doesn't do anything. I thought it was gonna- I thought it was like a hook shot. 
Oh, we're dead again. Okay. Hmm. Nice axe. Two yeah, maybe. Let's try it on, uh, on a smaller enemy. Okay, kind of cool. Wasn't there one where it said that uh, you could go to the enemy though? I tried pr holding it, it didn't work. Maybe it's weight or size. Like, my guess would be that if the enemy is too heavy for you to pull to you, that you would pull yourself to the enemy, but it didn't work with that enemy up there. What about dog? Maybe it lied? Would be on brand. What if there's like space between us? I'm gonna die from experimenting. Shit, it's broken! It's Genbood! God damn it! Shortcut? Bistrot of the brat, the crat, champagne, fine dining, homo machina servers. All right, there you go, chat. Enjoy. Wow, the chains. Yeah, I'm dead. I have to, I have to uh, perfect parry on, so I'm gonna take damage. Okay. The chains. All right, pretty tricky. Harder than the first boss, even. All right, so some attacks come out real fast. So I wonder if, um, until I learn the patterns well, if whenever I see the enemy twitch, I should just like immediately block, and then if I don't get a, a deflection, let go of it, and then do a a timed one after that. All right, where was the shortcut? Over there, I see it. Okay. Is dodging a Redditor thing now or what? No, I just want to engage with the deflection system and see. I, I prefer to do that than, than dodging. I'm okay with dodging, though. Different weapon type? No, I like the weapon I have. You know me, I'll probably finish the game with this weapon. Will you play Code Vein 2? Yeah, probably. When's that out? So 
when they say you can't dodge the red attacks, you can still just walk behind the enemy. Hmm. So it's definitely you can't iframe through them. So there must be iframes on on the uh, on the dodge. I'm guessing. Okay, this is very bloodborne. All right, so I sucked at that enemy, but definitely true. If you, if uh, some enemies have attacks that are so fast that as soon as you see them move, just hit hit block and you'll get a, a deflection. Wow, alright, that is strong. Holy shit. I wonder if that could have wiped that enemy out outside. Pull my puppet's tr uh, trigger. Do -do 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 -do. New enemy? Oh no! Well, that sucked. Wonder if that guy's gonna come back now. Dark Souls enemy placement. Yeah, I thought I would get knocked back, not knocked to the side. I wonder if I was just at a slight angle there and that's why I got knocked down. That's when you use the puppet string. To pull him over and say ain't no strings to hold me down, mother. F oh, it shows you how many souls that you uh, have left in your in your blood stain. That's a neat detail. I like that. See in the top right. All right, was this the only way? Oh, I hate this shit so much. I hate the weapon bouncing off the uh, the walls bit. If it happens to enemies too, I'm fine with it, but it almost always doesn't. Alright, is Big Bro back? He's not. Interesting. Alright. Interesting. Ladder to go down. Going down seems like the best bet here, because I bet you there's like a door we can open that goes back to the to the bonfire. Would anyone be mad if a if a Souls game came out and their bonfire like checkpoint system was actually just a bonfire? Okay, slide down. Hidden Moonstone. Someone would? Would would most people be mad? Would people who matter be mad? Do we generate uh, Devil Trigger energy when we parry? I didn't see it. Not from guarding. So this did open a shortcut, right? A lot of shortcuts so far. Yeah, there's the uh, the bonfire. So instead of going up the ladder, we continue going to there, and then we go up. Hmm, maybe too many shortcuts. It's stuttering. The game is stuttering, or the stream is stuttering? And the game is not really stuttering for me, so maybe it's the stream. Internet has been pretty bad here for the past couple days. Maybe it's still not fully fixed.
You're stuttering Joe. Well, I stutter quite often, yeah, but... I don't think that's what people are talking about. From my experience yesterday, the game has a lot of shortcuts on areas that are surprisingly small. Yeah, I, I feel like we, we didn't need the shortcut. It's like, oh, you did, you did and fight. Here, have a shortcut. It's like, what? I'm cool, thanks. Whoa, what happened over there? What? Oh. Oh, for fuck! It's kind of lame. Is that dog in the game or downstairs? Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Right at home. Right, I want to break this guy's weapon. Run at me, please, charge. Yeah, now what? Go well for you, bud. Sorry. My Louise and Charlotte, my treasure. I can't hear anything. I think the streets are already dead. Nothing but silence. I assume that I, too, will become just another petrified corpse soon. I still remember the sound of your singing voice and the sight of Charlotte looking at picture books. I miss all of it. The best thing I did when I was alive was send you and Charlotte to the cathedral for shelter. I wish this nightmare was all over, if only you and the kid could come back, but I guess now it's impossible. I love you, Louise. I pray that you're safe there. Alright, we got a gesture from that. That's good. Worf? Hmm. Green sweep. I'm just gonna grab this. Alright. Life amulet. If I get behind him, I can use the puppet string to do something. Oh no, we have to use grinder! One second. Oh, owned. Those are going to be regular enemies later, I'm guessing. Hmm. All right. What? Where are we going? Oh, is that a short? Uh, is that a bonfire? 
All right, we did it. Okay. Uh, this area not as fun as the last one. Seems kind of linear, and the shortcuts seem kind of arbitrary to me. But it's second level. Let's see how it goes. You missed the ladder, I think. Yeah, I'm going. Oh, it respawned the enemies. Wait, did it? Or was this another guy that was over there? I only activated the Stargazer. I didn't use it. So I'm, I don't think that they should have come back. Maybe that was a different enemy. Yeah, it was. Okay, good thing we didn't go back and use it. All right. Name that game. It is Hollow Knight. Well done. Do you think the Unity fiasco will delay Silk Song? Half-Life 2. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no, another one. Hmm. Alright, so I didn't use the Stargazer. But I activated it. So is my checkpoint currently this one or is another one? Let us jump off and see. Thought maybe I could get on the uh, the roof there. Lie or die. Let's see. Oh, it is here. Okay, cool. Thank you, Peppy91 for the resub. Thank you, Peppy. Thank you, Lifetag for the resub as well. Thank you, Dimic97 also for the resub. Just got here and before this game came out, I watched some of your old Souls videos again, so I thought it was cool to see this game finally listen to your complaint about the elevators not resetting on death from the Souls game. Nice, they do? Aw, oh, cool. Yeah, it's. It, I think it's stupid that the, those games don't do that. And people who argue against it are really silly. <laughs> There was another game that the, the elevators didn't reset that was annoying, but I can't think of it now. I think we, we streamed it at some point. Uh, thank you, McSwillian, or McSwellian, also for the resub. Thank you very much. You're more of a weeb than you were four years ago. Uh-oh. Watching anime? Why, hello. <laughs> I didn't know anyone was alive out here. <laughs> Same guy? I know what you're thinking, but I'm not a burglar. <laughs> I'm just crashing in an abandoned house for a while. Don't worry. I won't cause any trouble. We survivors need to look out for each other. Uh, for your information, I didn't steal this. I think you stole it. I think you stole it. Alright, so this little mini boss did not come back. Alright, so lost Frogo recovered. Uh, can we... We can level... Wait, can we level up? We can level up, right? At the Stargazer? Oh my god, you can't? You have to go back to the hotel level. Why would you let me level up before getting to the hotel and then say, nah, fuck you, you need to use the hotel now? Oh, for fuck's sake. That for your information. Okay, new weapon. Electric coil stick head. Damage reduction rate while guarding. Should we buy all the weapons and check them out? Let's do it. I'm buying every single weapon. Gemini's emergency protection. Food for the cricket puppet that, that receives help from Gemini. When used when there is death ergo to reclaim, it reduces the ergo loss from being hit. Ergo loss from being hit. Oh. So if you have a soul on the ground, when you get hit on the way, 
you lose some of the ergo. Temporarily protects current ergo even in death. Hmm. Why would I ever want to, to buy the emergency protection when I can just buy the iron protection? Maybe because there's, there's limited amounts. Throwing cell. There you go, Elden Ring fans. You can play this game now. Enjoy. Hmm, this looks fun. Is it more damage? There's no way it's more, more damage. Oh, like not even close. Oh, it does electric damage. Oh, okay. So it's like a magic weapon. Can't let it go. Oh, I, I'm the one who can't let it go. Me. I'm the one who can't let it go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sure, Jan. Teleport to another stargazer. You can transfer from one stargazer to another. You can only travel to those you have activated. Stargazers in areas where an event will be marked with a hint. Oh. Laifu has, a, has an event. LU colon. LU colon. Did Merrick do it again? I'll use my power to help you. Ergo is the miracle that made Krat prosper. Without Ergo, there would be no automated puppets to make Krat wealthy. Hmm. When you move, you tap into the power of Ergo within you. Gather more Ergo. It will make you stronger. Thank you, Sophia. Very cool. In the folklore of Krat, a cricket often acts as a guide. That is why these automated models became popular. But Gemini is unique. He's more than just a guide. As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. This was it? Really? Oh. Okay. I wonder if the game is going to be more freeform around the city, or it's going to be level-based like this for most of it. Hmm. Hmm. What's Geppetto's endgame? Aw, oh, 22 1B! He's here! Oh man, dodging that did not work. Really? What? Pinocchio, what are you doing? gesture from that one. I don't think our cat is in the room. I can't pet the cat. I can sense something strange. Jeepers. Is that a butterfly? 
Jeepers. Why is the ergo reacting like that? If you want to check it out, I can take point. Okay, I'm checking it out. Owned? Occasionally a dimensional butterfly will appear Dimensional butterfly will appear in parts of Krat. Monad's land can detect the butterfly, lighting up red to point out its location. When the character is near the hiding butterfly, it will appear. After a certain amount of time, the butterfly will disappear into another dimension. Kill it to get useful materials. Rip and tear. Star fragment. Hmm. Did we just kill a red-haired waifu in the, from another dimension? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. Let's go and explore other areas for no reason. Zuka and Rai. Put my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Oh, it was a trap. Attack enemies with a weapon to charge your pulse cells. Okay. <laughs> Best looking from armor set? Hmm. I don't know. I like the, uh, the the furry one from from Dark Souls 2, the one that was in the trailers. And by furry, I mean fur lined, not like furry like you all thought when I said it. Why did you have to describe it like that? Because it was it's app. It's it got fur on it. It's furry. It's a furry armor set. I can't remember what it's called though. Um, there's one in Dark Souls 3 that I really like, but I can't remember what it is. I really like the, uh, you know what? All time favorite, it's gotta be the Elite Knight set from Dark Souls 1. I really like that one. Whenever I get that, I usually pop it on. And then as I get more endurance as the run goes on, I will add more pieces on from, from Leather Armor or the Warrior set that I have. Elite Armor set, gotta be. It's the GOAT. I know it might be kind of basic taste, but you know what? Ha <laughs> ha you idiot! You moron! I'm not very good at this game chat, sorry. I'll try and get better. I'm really tired. I was doing so well earlier and now I'm really tired, I don't understand. I reset my sleep schedule on the weekend too. And it went quite well. Oh, it's a dog. Resident Evil reference? How is that not a, a deflection? Stand here and roll away. Yeah, all right. Okay, 
Okay, now you're just making fun of, fun of From Soft. You know what? I'm here for it. Who, who is it? Is that you, Murphy? Yes. Lie. Oh. Yes. It is. Yep. Uh, I guess not. Sorry. I, I thought you were my friend, Murphy. Murphy is a super cool police officer. <coughs> Doubt? As a puppet, even the petrification disease can't get him. I wish I was like him. <coughs> You should leave so you don't catch the disease from me. If only we could play together like we used to. Murphy, I miss you. If you come back here later, it's just gonna be dot dot dot. Cause he died. If only we could play to Murphy. Alright, let's get Murphy. Where's Murphy? Is Murphy the cat? And if we if we give him the cat back, he'll give us a music box that makes the next boss go inactive and gets free hits on it. Let's go. Converter. Oh damn, that's an essay. Holy shit. Better acid res better everything, but it's a lot heavier. Well, it's not that much heavier. Okay, this is just better in every way. Longer than the Witcher 3 video. Any way to bring it back? Any way to bring it back. What are the I hate Joseph Anderson and I've made the Waiting for the Witcher 3 video my whole entire personality on the internet fans going to do when the video comes out? Like, that's, that's like the end of your world. Like, wh what's, what's gonna happen? Well, shit, what do I do now? Uh-oh. Try again. It's oh, it's Gen Boot. You can only open it from the other side. Okay. Don't you do the same thing with Silk Song? No, absolutely not. I'm not upset that Silk Song is taking a long time to come out. How have you gotten that impression? Thronebreaker video. When I talk about Thronebreaker in the Witcher 3 video, during the Gwent section, it's fairly deep into the video. It's not right at the end, but it's over two thirds of the way in. So around seven to eight hours is when I talk about Thronebreaker. That's not a joke. <laughs> let's let's drop down. Hey Murphy. Oh, this must be your first time in the petrification disease quarantine zone. Nice hand. For most people, this is their last stop. You are a good Samaritan for coming all the way here. I want. May I ask you a favor? Good Samaritan is like a Bible reference, isn't it? My family took my baby from me and sent me here. They said it was for my own good, but it was heartless just the same. A baby must be with its mother. Please go to Crard City Hall and bring me my baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll find her, sure. Thank you so much, kind one. Time, Time for baby I delivery. My sweet Elena's face again. Elena's a good name. Please hurry. Heart scales. We almost named Mila Elena. Cross my eyes. Right. Before I lose my sight, please. Yeah. Just really like the baby was in the next one will name Elena, right? Should we check it out? You're funny. I hope everybody's safe. Are we really gonna get a baby and just like give the baby through the window here? There's no way. 
I don't think you should have the baby. I mean, the city's- is the city gone to shit? Maybe you should have the baby. And we died. Oh, we didn't. And me without healing. <laughs> oh man, that was fast. All right, it seems like it holds true it, until until you're really comfortable if the enemy does anything at all just instinctively hit block and then if you don't get a deflection you know release it and do a, a better time one all right god damn owned all right we, we have 1670 ergo if we get hit on the way how much ergo are we going to uh lose where is it Let's see. Blocking a hit should do it. No. Oh, there you go. A, a full hit. Oh, that took that was a lot actually. Will you ever do a remaster of one of your videos? Um. Warning: petrification, disease, quarantine zone. No trespassers. Everyone is a patient or a lunatic. Do not speak to them. Uh oh. Uh. Okay. So. Uh, I, there are two parts to this question. Let, let me channel Dr. Breen and be like, I sent some unanswered, unasked, unvoiced questions in this question. Uh, first of all, are there any videos that, that need a remaster? Absolutely. There's lots of my stuff that could be updated and improved. You know, there's, there's some mistakes here and there that I could correct. Um, a lot of the, everything before Breath of the Wild is, is, is like, you know, kind of eh. Um, Oh, maybe it's is Breath of the Wild. Maybe everything before Fallout 4. You know, there could be improvements, and definitely the audio. The audio is pretty bad in some of the early videos. Um, do I want to spend the time doing it? I think I'd rather just make new videos. Is it worth the time? I don't think so. Do you think this is the the boy's friend, the cop? Is it not a deflection? Okay, this guy is owning me, seriously. Uh oh. -hoo -hoo! Okay, harder than the first boss. Not interested in trying any of the other weapons in combat you got? I tried the um the balanced one earlier. I like this weapon so far. The stun weapon looked interesting, but I like this one. So it's always like Ooh, chocolate, thank you. Oh, we're over two hours too. Um hold on, let me go see if I kill or die again and then we'll take a break. Is this game's story any good? I we barely say any of the story yet. My guess is that there's not really gonna be a story here, it's just gonna be like some world background stuff. But maybe, maybe there will be. Man, the melee range feels so short. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it does feel pretty short, especially considering this is one of the longer weapons. I wonder if there's a, a better weapon for that later. This seems pretty good, but like, like the slash is just like so, like ah, oh, it's so close to you.
How did that not hit me? Okay, chill out, Gundir. What the fuck? Pretty fun. I wonder if the timings for getting a deflection are different on different uh, enemies, because it feels like it's really tight to get one on this guy. Pretty fun. Anyway, uh, beer back. Five minutes. Go walk around. Background lore stuff is story. I disagree with your take. The, what? What? All right, I'm back. Thank you, El Manado, or Manado, for the new sub. Welcome. 
Subscribe for six months to tier one. So that's like six months all at once, is it? How does that work? Again, it's it, this has been happening for a while now, and it still confuses me. Thank you, Almanado. Hi, Joe, just tuning in. Uh, would you recommend this game to someone who has only played Dark Souls 1? Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> If you wait, you played Dark Souls one and you were like, you know what? That's enough Dark Souls for me. Like, probably not actually, because like, why didn't you play more, right? Obviously, you didn't really like Dark Souls one all that much, right? So maybe not. But if you like Dark Souls one, then you know, yeah, you you should play it. You might, you will probably enjoy it. But like, uh, it seems like it's got a pretty good foundation. I don't know how if it has legs or not, but. Uh, Play Dark Souls 3 first. Why are... Why do people who love Dark Souls games insist that the background lore is storytelling? Like, no one... Well, hold on. When I say it's not a story, I'm not saying it's bad or it's without merit or without any substance or anything like that. It's just a, a statement that it's not a story. So what? why are they saying that it's a story? Is it because they think that if they say it's a story, it has more worth? Is it like the whole v VNs or games argument where people are like, oh, VNs or games, and then, oh, look at this dude. Owned. And then you say, well, they're not. But that doesn't mean they're lesser. And then VN uh, people will like argue and say, no, they are, they are, they are, because they just want them to be games for some reason, even though it doesn't matter. Is it just like that? Because, like, to me, Dark Souls, like, background lore is clearly not a story. The story in Dark Souls that's there that you can experience is, you know, the Chosen Undead's journey that you go through. And, like, it's pretty pretty basic and hasn't really got much going on. Although, if you mess around with the story like I do in games, there, it has a couple of uh, neat moments of subversion. But there's nothing really go going on there, IMO. Um, like, the lore is somewhat interesting, but it feels just like just someone just huffing, and, huffing fumes and just making it up as they go along to me. But we've spoken at length about that before, and I don't want to get back into the conversation. It's definitely not a story to me. I just don't understand the insistence. Okay, sometimes with the, the tackles followed by a, a quick twirl. That one is also followed. Oh man, sometimes they're so fast. How is that not a... That's really... that's... interesting. Okay, so right now, my read on this is that some chains are gonna come out, and... You're gonna have to just have an instant block, and if you don't block, you risk taking damage. I wonder if there's a tell I'm not understanding. Hmm. I wonder if there's like a sound tell or if it's only if you deflect the first one he gets locked into a chain where he attacks you faster I think Jedi had that didn't it? Jedi had uh, had systems where if you if you perfect deflect the first one uh, the enemy goes into a chain that will attack you with more hmm. Okay Do you think that subjectivity is implied is an objective statement? Yes It's not an opinion Well, this seems kind of shit. It itches. Peel the skin and there's blue blood. Blood, blood. Pretty cocoon. Blue angel. Joyful appetite. Blue death. What a feast. Death, death, death. And death. I'm alive. It itches. Itchy tasty? 
people in chat are saying it too. Itchy tasty. One of the most memorable for some reason uh, uh, notes you can find in the game, Resident Evil 1. Don't know why, it just sticks in my memory forever. Warning, petrification disease, oh yeah, we did this already, okay. Our side quest story, or is it just down to the format of the presentation? Um, side quest can definitely be story, sure, yep. In Souls games or in any game? Like, in any game, absolutely, yeah. There's lots of side quests in games that, that are stories. In Souls games, depends on the side quests. New enemy, nice. Real talk, I'm excited for Witcher 3, Witcher 3 because you and NL really helped my Winter Blues re-watching vids, VODs, and catching streams. Oh, that's nice. You just have to put NL in there, huh? Just just have to, to, to get the knife and do a twist, though. Twist the compliment. No, I'm kidding. Thank you. Hey, Joe. Really love the streams. It's really good that I have something to watch when NL isn't streaming. Hey Joe, thanks for filling the gap when I'm done watching all the uh, NL VODs. It's good to know I have more content here waiting for me when I'm done. <laughs> I know that's not what you said, I'm just, I'm just being uh, funny. He's streaming. Real fans have us both open at the same time. Alright, where are we going? Subjectivity is implied as an objective statement because you can measure it and, and it's and it, and those definitions of the words match up. If you want to get into an argument that it's a subjective statement, then now you're disagreeing with a lot of basics of language, which you can definitely do, but now you're getting into a more philosophical area of saying that there is no objectivity whatsoever, and I really can't agree with that. Like, you can say... So you can say that... Um, a measurement of a centimeter is an objective measurement. That's an you can you can get a ruler, you can have a tool that you can that you can measure it. But you can disagree with the usage of that ruler. You can disagree with with um, calling it a centimeter. You can disagree with the with the the unit of measurement that a centimeter should be. You should say a centimeter should be a little longer, a little shorter, right? You can argue about the definition of a centimeter, but that doesn't change the fact that what the centimeter is currently measuring still exists at, at those dimensions. Do you understand? So that's why it's an objective measurement. Jesse, what the fuck are you saying? Is, there, is this really confusing? I think this is pretty straightforward. Bro, it's just semantics? Not really, no. So all these back to I'm right, you're wrong? No, not really. Some people think that uh, the subjectivity video is, is to say that, and it's not at all. In fact, it's the opposite. People are really threatened by that. Well, not not people. Some people are really threatened by that, and I don't understand why. So you're a weeb? Define a weeb? You can't say it's subjective if objectivity is present. Pretty much, yeah. If something is objective, if you can objectively measure something, then you can't say it's subjective after the fact. The reason why judging art is inherently subjective is because there's no objectivity that you can get there. We have some squares that you can judge and define if you'd like. <laughs> Which square is better? And if you can if you can objectively measure which square is better than another square, then now we can move on to higher art. Spoilers, you won't be able to uh, get past the square part. You mean objective like rhythm and time signatures? Oh, are we getting into this again? So time signatures and rhythm from the discussions I had on Jads afterwards uh, are definitely, those things seem to exist and they can be objectively measured, especially when they're set. The problem that we were discussing on 
in chat is that when it's not defined and you have to figure it out yourself, then it becomes a subjective measurement and you have to judge it. And all the discussions we had in chat on, on in Jads after those streams um, couldn't come to a conclusion. I argued with Balder for a long ass time, okay? And he really pissed me off. But <laughs> but we didn't come to a, a good conclusion. Oh, look, you get wet from rolling in the puddle. Kate calls uh, puddles uh, raindrops. It's very cute. I want to go uh, jump in the raindrops, daddy. I'm sure you pissed them off too. I don't think it's possible to piss Balder off. <laughs> Dude is always calm and cool as a cucumber. I don't know if he's like secretly seething underneath, but I don't think I've ever seen Balder angry. <laughs> what does she call raindrops? Uh, puddles. When we go outside after it's raining, she calls puddles raindrops. All puppets will be destroyed. Purge puppets. Come out, Geppetto! You got a lot to answer for! Yeah, true! You know what caused the puppet frenzy, don't you? You're their maker, practically their father! You and the alchemist scheming together. Tell me the truth! What's your problem? I'm here for the old man. Get lost. Wait. I know you. Oh. Eric, I know what you are. You're the devil's puppet. You can't sneak past me. Die! Can you pause it? Oh, you can. Oh, you can't! Oh, okay. Backstab on him, it showed up for a second there. Hmm. Are you a dream or a nightmare? I'm showing up all day. There we go. Okay, that's kind of weird. Sloppy as hell, but we got him. I'm not good at this game, chat. I will try to play better. Can't block red attack, attack joke. Yeah, I know. I was trying to parry it. I know it doesn't look like it because I didn't get it. But yeah, I was trying to deflect it. Oh, was that the first human we killed? That was a person. Uh... Oh. Ian McKellen? Finally. We meet. Son. That's his voice? It's a dream come true. Seeing you like this. Pinocchio, my boy. I understand why some people despise me. I invented the puppets after all. I should take responsibility as their maker. But in order for me to do that, I need to take care of the puppets at City Hall. Won't you help me, son? Take this. You'll find it most useful. <sighs> Mad Donkey's hunting apparel, Mad Donkey's mask, Kratz... Can I have a second? I want to hear 
all about your experiences. But now isn't a good time. Use the stalker's key to open the bridge door. Then get rid of the frenzied puppets that have seized City Hall. And get the baby. We'll catch up at Hotel Croc when you're done. Okay. I like your coat. Can I have a coat? All right, I was trying to pause it because someone said, why does someone disagreeing with you make you ang angry? It doesn't. It was the way that conversation was going. Like, no shade on Balder. I really like Balder. I like the discussions I have with Balder. I didn't like that one, but the rest of them I do. I usually enjoy talking to Balder. I like Balder's contributions to chat. But I feel like in that conversation specifically, Balder was just so sure that I was wrong, that he wasn't engaging with anything I was saying. Now, that might not be the case. Maybe I was just getting too heated and I was just in a bad place because I, I just had chat call me an idiot for like over an hour before that. But that's the part that was pissing me off. It wasn't that someone was disagreeing with me. I welcome disagreement. I really like conversations and, and, and learning, but that's what was uh, was annoying about that conversation. Thanks for your great streams. Found some new game. Uh-oh, hold on one second. Found some new games I've been playing that I wouldn't have heard of if it wasn't for your streams, such as Outer Wilds and Danganronpa, and also Super Auto Pets from NL, right? You put Outer Wilds and Danganronpa together? Okay, is this like... Is there a new trend? How can we subtly piss Joe off? <laughs> I'm kidding. Danganronpa's pretty good. <laughs> What are these amulets? Increases max HP. All right, that seems pretty good. Is it working? It's totally working. The mask worn by the mad donkey. It's the mask of one blindly see seeking the truth. All right, good Pinocchio reference. You know what? I'm not feeling it. anti Baldur's Gate 3 streams. We're gonna have to play it, I think, just to kill the meme. Like, do do like two streams, and then once it gets boring, just be like, okay, that's it, we're done. Whatever viewership we have for the first one, we'll be like, okay, if it ever dips below 80% of what we have today, that's it, we're done forever. And then people will be like, oh shit, oh no! And then, you know, I can't lose. Either we end it when it gets too low, or I have high viewership for a whole playthrough. But that's every game? Nah. But Joe, I can't keep up with the laws. We're going on break soon. You have plenty of time to catch up. So about that weapon assembly tool you were talking about. If you find any more weapons, let's try using them here. Assemble weapons. Assemble weapons to Eugene at the hotel or at stargazers in different areas. Separate your weapons into blade and handle and assemble them to, into new weapons that match your character's battle style. The weapons features are decided by the handle and blade combo. Okay. New weapon. So I can take the blade of the greatsword that I like and combine it with the handle. Okay, so all of the guards there are the same. So different scalings. So this has motivity. So Fable Arts, Absolute Defense, Strike Chance, Rush Smash, Guard Parry, and Concentrate. What's Guard Parry? Okay, I don't know what these are. And I'd like to see them, but um, maybe we should go back to the... Uh... Wait, what? Oh, it's the same one. I thought I changed it. Did I not finalize it? You know what? Let's just go to the... We have all the handles already. Let's. We, we won't have to do it. Oh, man. We're going to have to go to, back to the, the garden. Need to level up anyway. We beat the boss. Thank you, Disco Spider, for the resub. Thank you, Orange Disco Spider. Thank you, Zorgrox, for the bits. Joe, you're definitely in my top three streamers. Thank you, Zorgrox. Thank you, Jexel, also for the new sub. Thank you very much, Jexel. Meanwhile, on NL's chat, you're definitely in my top two streamers. 
Meanwhile, on Jermish chat, you're definitely in my top one streamers. All right, so what's this one? Okay, what does that do? More damage? Seems like it's higher damage. Can I see a description of it? Concentrate. Increases attack temporarily. All right. Time the time the enemies go attack correctly to deflect and trigger a powerful attack. That seems good. Uh, temporarily increase your attack for the next hit. Jump and powerfully strike downward at the enemy. Perfectly block the enemy's attack temporarily. All right. So I think I like this one. Guard parry. Joe is just Germa without. Joe is just. Is Germa with added horniness and grumpiness? Oh, okay. I thought it was without. I was like, Germa, Germa is is grumpier than I am. I know my way around. I'm not grumpy. What the hell? Okay, this one, and we want the um, we want the guard parry one. That's what we want, right? Okay, weapon assemble. X. Yes. Oh, it changes the weapon too. Alright, this is a cool system. I like it. Alright, let's see what it's like. What? Oh no, it's hard. I still got hit! Hmm. Alright, I don't know if this is good or not, but we'll try it on an enemy and see. So far, I don't like it. Impression so far, not too much Souls-like. Oh, of the game overall? I like the game quite a bit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It has, it has some stuff going on. I'll use my power to help you. Seek, seek, lust. Okay, is our green bar bigger than the red bar now? Almost. We're getting there. Say, do you happen to be a proponent of death of the author regarding art in general? Haven't heard you explicitly mention it before, which is why I'm asking. Death of the author is something that is often misunderstood by a lot of people who use it. Death of the author is is often stated in a way to say that as soon as something it's all right. How do I say this? It's a good question. Sorry, I don't mean it's a bad question. I'm just trying to trying to answer it clearly instead of rambling as always. Um, Death of the author is meant to mean that if there is an interesting and worthwhile interpretation of a text that you can do by disregarding authorial intent, then it is valid and worthwhile to do. It does not mean that once work is out there, that authorial intent no longer matters. And the latter is often what people think death of the author means, and that's not what it means. Is that clear? I think, I think that that's that's the take. So I, I think it's a good thing and you should definitely use it when if there's a, a good interpretation to go through. But yes. Krat City Hall. Alright, that's oh, right there. Okay, cool. People say the latter all the time. Joe, after the author published that, I changed what it means to me. I, I actually have written that joke, exact joke in a, in a, in a script that wasn't published. <laughs> I think I put it on Patreon. Because back then there was still a Patreon. I said something along the lines of, and if you disagree with me, then that means you can disregard authorial intent. So that so therefore I can just invoke the death of the author on death of the author, and now my interpretation is valid and you can't argue with me. <laughs> also known as checkmate motherfucker, choo-choo. All right, this is broken. Yeah. Yep. 
No! What? The handle is the move set. Oh damn! What? Really? Can I put the hold on, can I put the claymore handle on on the on the rapier then? Wait, hold on. It's kind of it's mixed, isn't it? No, it's 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 the same. Yeah. All right, that's really silly. I like it, but that's really silly. Who or what is the arbiter for what's an interesting interpretation of a piece? Wouldn't that be the audience, whoever is being addressed? Yeah. Like if if you have an interesting like. If you have an interesting interpretation, then then you present that, and if, you know, the populace at large thinks it's worthwhile, then that will resonate with them, or it'll die an obscure death. That's it. That's how, how things, that's how discussions always work, right? It could still be valid to you. It's fine. It's meant to, it's meant to stop situations where someone says something like, hey, I think X is about this, and look at my essay, and look at my thoughts, and look how I re it resonated with me, and then the author comes along and says, that's not what I intended at all, this is bullshit, disregard this. It's, it's meant to prevent that sort of thing from happening. Hmm. I can't believe that it's the, it's the blade. It's the handle, sorry. Okay, well, I want to stick with what I have for now, because I like this, I like how this moveset feels. How's the game? It's pretty good. Oh, there's more than one. God damn it. There's three. When did we get four healing charges? Wow, that dog movement's right out of Dark Souls 3, huh? Holy shit. Thanks for your responses. I realize this may be a contentious topic for some people. About Death of the Author? It is for some people, yeah. I think it's a, it's a good thing. I think it's just it's really healthy for discussions that you don't have to be like um, bogged down by what the author meant or you know, all that shit. You can just say like, look, look, I can have a valid interpretation. Here I go. Is there any classic book novel you consider massively overrated? The Bible. I'm a mod on slash our atheism. Not one that comes to mind, sorry. Most of the classics that I've read have been have been worth it. I haven't read that many actually. I, I've re I've read um, more contemporary stuff. The the lion's share of what I've done of the reading I've done in my life has actually been uh, amateur fiction, like lots and lots and lots and lots of that. It's really hard to judge a lot of classics because they're a product of their time, and sometimes uh, language has changed so much that's pretty hard to even understand. You know what? I bounced off Wuthering Heights. That is a really basic bitch take, and someone's gonna hate me for that. But yeah, so I guess my my take my answer would be Wuthering Heights right now. Because man, oh man, did that f I found that boring. But that's meant to be like a banger book. I wonder I would, if I would like it now. Shortcut already. Huh. Have you read Dead Souls? I haven't, no. Do you consider Lord of the Rings overrated? Yeah, but they asked uh, classics. Classic literature. <laughs> I 
Uh, if Lord of the Rings counts, uh, then Lord of the Rings for sure. Yeah, Lord of the Rings is very overrated. It's not bad, it's just overrated. Oh man, it's delayed attacks the game, huh? No, that's fast. You motherfucker. Okay, what am I missing on the the telegraphs here? Oh no. No survivors here. What do we do? Just give her that baby puppet? Yes. Do you also not like the Lord of the Rings movies? I've only seen each of them once except for Fellowship. Fellowship is probably my favorite. Um, there's something that happens in Return of, the, Return of the King that I don't like in both the movies and the book. And it's really bad. Uh, but apart from that, you know, they're, they're well-made movies. Will you be my friend? Everyone is gone. I'm all alone now. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, Sane. Sane Ar Arian? Arian? Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. I said it wrong when you subbed too, right? Yeah, that's the part. I don't want to say it out loud because it's a spoiler and if someone wants to look through chat and see it, yeah. It's kind of a, a vague spoiler though. Yeah, that that is not a good part of the story. What did the orcs eat? Play uh, Gollum and you'll figure it out. You'll see. What do you think of Harry Potter? I've read Harry Potter, every Harry Potter book except for the first one. I don't know why I started with the second one, though I have no idea why I didn't read the first one. Um, I like it. I think Harry Potter's pretty good. I've only read them once, though. Better Lord of the Rings? Absolutely, yeah. They're very readable. If I read them now, maybe I would feel differently. I haven't tried reading Lord of the Rings in a long time. And I didn't, I read Harry Potter originally when I was in my late teens, early 20s. I didn't love them. They're not my favorite books or anything, but like, yeah, they were all right. One of the strengths of, of those books is that something interesting happens on almost every single page. There's not a single page that goes by that there is not something going on. That, you, that either builds the mystery or is like a detail that comes back later or anything like that or some exchange between characters like it's uh it's really good for that or oh, sword is broken Which way do we want to go? Do you want to go back across the bridge and climb? It was right there, wasn't it? I feel like we didn't explore down here. Oh, we did. This is where we came from. Red Song of Ice and Fire. I've tried to read Game of Thrones many times, and I can't get past it. I can't even finish the first book. I get so unbelievably bored. My best attempt, I think I got about 60% through it. And then I have to stop. Just so boring. What? It's just so boring. Like, I tried to read Game of Thrones before it was even a show, okay? So this isn't being being a hipster. Like, I tried, like, l l years before it became a show, I tried to read um, uh, Game of Thrones. And just so, so, so boring. It was the, actually, actually was down here, wasn't it? Fucking hell. her from miles away oh my sweet Elena <laughs> please
Please let me hold her. Elena. There, there, my baby. I missed you so much. What do you think? Is my baby adorable? Lie. <gasps> She's a cute baby. That's a puppet. She's a cute baby. That's right, kind one. You've granted me my only wish. Here's a weapon. My sweet Elena. We're going to be happy now. Thank you so much, kind one. Please accept my heartfelt gratitude. In the form of this weapon. Feel. Records you obtain while playing the game can be played using the gramophone at the hotel. You can listen to the music on the records to attain humanity. Humanity. Wow, they're just like, they're just going for it, huh? Alright, when we come back, is she going to be eating the baby? Oh, look at the reflection. Game of Thrones is interesting in ways that Lord of the Rings isn't. I think uh, George R. R. Martin said this in an interview once, and it's a pretty good, a pretty good point that he says. Um, something about how there's this cleanness to Lord of the Rings that you just assume everything's going to be okay, but it doesn't get into any details. Like, is is Aragorn going to be a good ruler in terms of like what's his tax policy, all this, all this other shit, like. Like, the real nitty-gritty details of, like, what running this place would actually be like that Game of Thrones gets into instead. You know, so that, for that part, it's it's infinitely more interesting than, than Lord of the Rings horseshit, you know? However, in terms of how it's written, it falls into the exact same traps of just, like, overly wrought on, on world building, setting the scene, takes fucking forever, like, I don't need to know everything, I don't need to drift through a city, I don't need to know about what this guy smells like and looks like, and, like, let's go through all the cities and describe everything that's going on before we finally get into the scene of dialogue that's gonna take, like, fucking, like, just a fraction of the whole entire chapter, like, like, it's just so annoying and slow, and I understand that some people really like that, I'm not saying you're objectively wrong for disliking it, or it's objectively bad, obviously, I need to clarify that because some people might think I am, but I don't like it. It's too slow. I'd rather get into just like more things happening. That said, I don't like a lot of where contemporary fiction is going at the moment where everything is so snappy and doesn't leave scenes with room to breathe. There's a happy medium that's not being found between a lot of, uh, between that and a lot of contemporary fiction. But like, man oh man, is it, it's way too far in the other direction when it comes to Game of Thrones, The Wheel of Time, and Lord of the Rings. I think that Robin Hobb does it really well. Uh, even though Robin Hobb loves Lord of the Rings, which I hate. <laughs> uh, I hate that she said that. Um, but, like, uh, there, there's definitely, like, a marriage between the two that makes it more readable with, with still giving ideas and room to breathe in the, uh, in the plot. Witcher books are infinitely better than this? Yes, Witcher books were much better. Even when the Witcher books become and then they walk, 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 walk in, in, the, in the big um, saga... There's still more direct and more going on. Even though that is my least favorite part of those books, yeah. Sorry, Chad, I'm learning. Wait, am I locked in?
Yeah, I'm locked in after that. Weird. Okay, a lot of improvement there on getting the deflections, but I have to look at their animations really closely. Hmm. I'm not sure if I like that or not. And I read, I mean that genuinely, I'm not sure. Sometimes I say I don't know if I like that to, to mask the fact that I don't like it, I'm not ready to commit yet, but this time I'm, I'm really genuinely saying I, I'm not sure. Will you be my friend? Everyone is gone, I'm all alone now. No, I won't be. Sorry, I'm sorry if I'm asking this too often, but I'm genuinely curious. I haven't seen it until now, so it's fine. When you criticize Wheel of Time in the Witcher video, are you just criticizing the pattern or do you dislike th that series? Uh, I'm criticizing the pattern. I think that Wheel of Time is, is decent. I haven't finished it. I think I've read the first four books. When I started reading Wheel of Time, uh, it wasn't done yet. Robert Jordan was dead, but it was... <laughs> Rip. Uh, but it wasn't done yet. Uh, what's his name? Hadn't come in and... Uh, Sanderson hasn't, hadn't come in and, and finished it yet. One day I'll go back and finish it. I think at one point in in the Wheel of Time books, someone starts acting erratically because the prof prophecy says that they're going to do something. So therefore, I'm I'm invincible because that hasn't happened yet, and the prophecy is never wrong. So I don't need to do. And I think that's actually pretty the most interesting way that they use it. <laughs> the the, uh, the rest of it is like I, I hate it when it's like oh the prophecy is the writer's story planning notes, and we have to go along with the prophecy because that's what the writer said. It's just a really cheap way of getting character motivation in. Puppet Destroyer's Amulet. What is the longest book you've read? It's either going to be The Chronicles of Amber by Roger Zelensky or The Stand by Stephen King. I think both of those are the longest books that I've read. Both of those are longer than Catch-22. Catch-22 is a pretty long book too. I think it's going to be one of those two. Use a star fragment at the Crax Calling next to the boss area to summon a specter. It will help your character in a boss battle. Nah, I'm good. So there's a boss battle in here. Spoilers. The Uncut the Stand is fucking insanely long. That's the one I read, yep. Very long book. Really good too, I liked it a lot. Probably my favorite King book. Did you ever read Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss? No, I'm waiting for him to be done with it before I start reading that. Cool flag. Is this... Is Zelazny, not Zelensky? Is Zelensky the Ukraine guy and I got the names mixed up in my head? I'm sorry, it's been a long time since I read that. Oh, it's just the Uber police guy. Shit. Cop of Artorias? Scrap Watchman. Get a... Okay. Alright, sure, repair my weapon before I went in. What was that Bart Simpson? I'm gonna come at you, and if you get in the way, it's your own fault. That was pretty funny. Have you read Le Guin? Oh, is that the, uh... The Earthsea? Is that Le Guin Earthsea? I haven't, no, but I would like to. Red attacks can be perfectly uh, blocked like with this. Oh, the souls go out of outside the fog door. Interesting. All right, what's this? Oil door? 
Uh, they can also be physically avoided. You can't dodge through them, but you can dodge away from them if you know the arc that it's going to come at you at. Is Sand and Branderson good? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I've never read anything of this. That's cool. So I'm not really understanding why some of those uh, coming in the combo are not deflections. I wonder if I'm I'm missing the the timing on the first one and I'm locked into guard state and I and I'm letting go of the button on the controller, but the character is not going back to neutral for me to get the guard. I wonder if that's what's happening because I feel like my timing is right after the first one, but I'm not getting deflections. Hmm. Pretty tight on the timing though. Can you recap the story so far? There isn't really a story to recap just yet. Where Pinocchio, the city has gone to shit with all the robots that used to be friendly, going crazy th through something called the Frenzy, and right now we're just doing what we're told. Yeah, this boss is really good. I like it a lot. What are we doing? What are we doing? What, was there a red circle on the ground he was standing to, to get it? But a grab attack. We're dead. We're dead. We're so dead. It's over. It's so over. All right, this boss is actually really cool. I like it a lot. I'm loving how Joe's playing. What? What am I doing? Am I doing something wrong? Is it because I'm playing like a Sakura? I like the deflection. Do you think Sakura Parry was too lenient with this 30 frame window? Are you trying to roast me?
whoa, 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 hold on. What the hell? He didn't drop his guard. And... Shit, too early. Too late. Yeah, you do have to stand in the red circle to get to get the special. All right. Weird. I really like this boss chat. This is one of the best like Souls like bosses I've seen that doesn't come from FromSoft. There's a really good flow to this fight. I like that uh, when he goes into phase two, it, it adds like every single time he does a big attack, it leaves a lightning thing on the ground. And you need to move. This is really good. There's a lot going for this. I like it a lot. I'm struggling to think of a of a like a boss fight from a non non from software souls like that's that's like on this level. They must exist. We might have played some, but uh, I can't think of one off the top of my head right now. Like this is pretty good. Like it looks good too. Like it looks good. There's stuff going on. It's got a good phase change. It's not it's not too difficult, but it's not too easy either. Like I'm dying to it. It's good. Bro, this is better than Margit, Lamayo. No, I, I, uh, sorry. <laughs> that was Lamayo and Imayo together. Let's not go crazy. Elden Ring fans aren't going to tolerate that, okay? And some of them are still on my chat for some reason. Oh, 
Oh no! Why'd I do that? The improvement. Oh, no, the my hubris. Okay, so... Okay, grab's the problem. I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Grab is pretty brutal. That's a really punishing attack. Can I block it? If I fuck up the... the does he... It's not red, but it could still grab me through the block, right? Because it's a grab attack, and grab attacks often do that in these kinds of games. Hmm. I haven't said thank you to people in a while. Sorry about that. Thank you to... Mr. Pebbles, 22 for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Mr. Pebbles. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rim Uzuki. Rim Uzuki for the new sub. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Somewhere close. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, Aram for the resub. Sean Moggen for the resub as well. Hugs Not Drugs, also for the resub. Saccharine Coffee, or Saccharin Coffee for the new sub. I'm actually not 100% sure how to say that word. I think I got it right, right? Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. No Hope for My Queer Ass is here, and he's resubscribing. Thank you very much. No Hope for My Queer Ass. And thank you, Terraflop, also for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Queer Ass. Queer Ass. I wonder if we should have leveled up our sword or something. I feel like we're not doing that much damage to him, but I think it's possible. I'll try a couple more times, and if we can't get him down, I'll go upgrade my sword if we can. Have me gifted for a face cam stream. Uh, I was on co optional if you want to see what I look like. Uh, I also did a face cam stream of Hat in Time if you want to go see it. It's one of the first streams on the second channel if you want to go see what I look like. Uh, I'm not a handsome man. However, in my defense, I purposefully like shaved and also cut my hair for that. So I look different at the moment. I usually keep a big beard. I was also very uncomfortable. Missed it. I wonder how many free hits you can get there before you use the uh the stun.
that sucked, man. That sucked. Alright, he's pretty tough. Is he tough or am I bad? Use LB plus Y for attacks. I'd rather learn to just be good at the game than than do easy mode. I should be using my uh, my my Y more often for uh, for extra damage. Oh, holy shit! Terraflop subscribed. Thank you very much, Terraflop. Sorry, I missed it. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, Terraflop. Uh, thank you, Generic Gary, for the 50 gift subs. Holy shit! That is a lot. Just ran trying using your arm and weapon arts. It's nice to learn this early. Uh, the puppet string we have, I tried and I got hit. I don't think it does that much damage, does it? I'll try when we get inside. The weapon arts I should be using more for sure, yeah. I think so. That's so many gifts. Thank you so much, Gary. Gary. And thank you, Hypercuban, for the reset as well. Thank you very much, Hypercuban. damage doesn't seem worth it. Man, I'm bad at that. I think I have these ones, the close-up ones, mostly down. He says fucking it up. But the the long distance ones I have trouble. I always block too a little too uh, a little too late. You have plenty of time to do that, okay. to the left. Fuck. Fuck. Robbed, yeah. Was I robbed or was that a skill issue? Was I a little too slow? Okay. This box looks kind of stupid. Really, I think it's pretty good. Like, I'm dying because I'm fucking up. I'm not dying because he's unfair or anything. He's pretty good. There's lots of times where I um, where I can sneak in attacks and I'm not doing it because I'm not too comfortable. His big attacks that have the wind up that I know the the parry on, um, you can slip in an attack for it, for sure. I like the animation a lot. Yeah, I like them too. Does the grab feel like bullshit or is it fair? It depends. If I can block it without parrying it, then I think it's fine. But if it's not red and it goes through the block, then I think it's bullshit, yeah. In general though, I don't like grabs in these games because they just don't feel fun. Try the other arm, it does nice stagger damage. The puller is good versus small mobs for separation. Oh, the, uh, the, the legion arm? Yeah, if I did that, it does a lot of damage. That might be good, but I'm gonna stick with what I have for now.
So you have to be perfectly still when you do that. God damn it. Oh, god damn it. It ran out in the middle of the strike. God damn. Fuck. I wonder if Finn would be better than me at this game right now. If, uh, because it's a new game, if we both start playing it. I guess the Souls experience I have would, uh, would carry over more than his because he sells in me Dark Souls 1. Is trying to get deflections hard mode? It seems like the game wants you to do the deflections, and I'm enjoying that uh, quite a lot, actually. It's like slower Sekiro, which I think has its place. Is the boss room back annoying? Eh, not really. I don't, it doesn't really matter. I don't feel it very much. Let's try dodging. I think dodging is better um, for the ones where he gets electrified on the ground because then you dodge, you get out of the, the lightning patch, and then you can get a hit in afterwards. All right, should we see if we can upgrade our weapon? Because maybe someone is screaming. Sorry, that's a long windup. Yeah, I wonder. I feel like maybe if you don't wait, uh, the boss will attack right away after you. Um, what you call it? If you try and dodge sooner, then that triggers the boss to hit you because you didn't wait for the timing. It seems like it's tuned like that. I'm not sure. How'd you like the heals in this game, Joe? Someone was, was asking earlier. I think it's pretty good. I like that you can you can try and get a deflection, and if you fuck it up, you have a chance to get some of your health back after the block. Seems like a good system. Whereas if you dodge, you don't get that chance back. Seems like a well-balanced risk and reward. I know my way around a weapon. 
Do you dread the day, sorry, the day your children will be able to crush you at Vidya? I mean, like, Finn's already better than me at something. At, uh, Jumino Kart. Oh, we can upgrade our weapon. Alright, let's see if that makes a big difference. Uh, where's our Ergo? Let's use, let's just use all of these. I know my way around. All right, we're one short of upgrading it again, so we're at plus two. Okay. Did you do any? Did you do any Dark Souls games at level one? I have not. No, I've never done that. Do you want to change our arm too? It cannot be changed here. Can, do we have a new one unlocked? Let's see. We don't. This one does seem better for the fight. Let's try it. I don't know if I'm going to use the range one. I don't really like it all that much. And I don't think we can level up, right? We don't have enough souls? No, we don't. Okay. Do people IRL ever recognize your voice? Uh, nope. The kids always ask, who the hell are you? Uh, no, I've never met anyone who's recognized me or, like, I'm, I'm nowhere near that famous. <laughs> Thank you, Cake Jamble, for the new sub. Thank you very much, Cake Jamble. And thank you again to Generic Gary for very generous Gary for the 50 subs. I think Joe would grab the family and run out of town, town the day a fan showed up and recognized them. Exactly, yeah. Are you the most famous person from Moncton? I don't think so, no. He's the only non-NPC uh, there, though. Whoa! What shade against Lily and my kids? What the hell? Do a lot of stagger damage because I just hit him and it didn't really do that much. Maybe it does. Chases you. Okay, that's the first time I tried to get away from that. Okay, god damn, I thought I was gonna get him there. I was playing really well until I fucked up the uh, I went for the the stagger and he went out of stagger state uh, when I went for him. So you have to punish that really quickly. That's pretty hard.
What if you had a Tony Hawk moment where you have to show your ID to someone and they go, Oh, you look so much like that guy, Joseph Anderson, but that's not your name, so I guess it's just a coincidence? I would have to, uh, spaghetti poker face really, really hard, yeah. A bit late to the party, we read any sir, Terry Pratchett. <laughs> just have to add the sir, huh? Just have to add the sir. I've read only you can save mankind, if not you, who else? And I've read good omens. That's it. No Discord, sorry. Why is the range on the Claymore so low? Oh, hold on, what was that? Oh, you don't have to do like you can do light into a heavy charge. Oh, that's easier. All right, I like that. I'm learning. Yeah, I think he waits for you to dodge, and if you pick up the time, he, he goes for you. You fucking serious, bro? Yeah, so he can get you through the grab, it looks like, uh, the block. That sucks. Oh shit. Was that? How did I not stun him? What? Really? Really? It just ran out? What? What? No! Fuck! That's so hard!
That's such a tight timing, and, and he'll fucking dodge away when you try to do it too. Wow, that is not a reliable way of getting free damage. Hmm. Do you think that if you get the first hit of your R2, that should extend it just for like enough time that if the second one's about to land, it should knock him down? Like, I really feel like it should. Like, if you try... Uh, should it flash before? Hmm. I don't know. Who's that? No, go, go! Okay, we did it. So bad. I'm really enjoying the fight though. This is a really good fight. I'm having a lot of fun. I thought that was it too. Sorry, chat. Hey Joe, I want to ask you a rather complicated question. I've been thinking for a while about- Nope, I lied. I demand everyone in Twitch chat upload this Twitch feature request to log who resolves predictions. I need you to read it out. Death to the rogue mod. Ooh. Is this a problem that's like, like every Twitch chat has a rogue mod? Is it like Lich King? No, there must always be a rogue mod. I could see it happening a lot. Jazz is talking about web browser tabs. How many do you have open now? I think I have about six open. All 
Alright, 142 for a light attack. How much for a heavy? Oh, I was out of stamina there. Him, or do I have to do the double dodge back when he does that? Alright, we're still alive. We're still alive. We're still in it for more. Heal, heal, heal. Kill, kill, heal again. Do you know how fucked up my brain is right now? My brain is going, use the last heal so you're charging up a new one while you hit him. Look, look at the gains. It's efficient. This is, this is my sickness chat. I am legitimately tempted to fucking heal again right now. No, it's not two dodgebacks. Fuck. I'm too close to him, maybe? Maybe the timing's wrong? Maybe it was iframes through it before. We're getting close. I'll get him soon. I'll get him soon. I'm a little embarrassed it's taking me this long, but he is pretty hard for me. I don't know if this is a hard fight or if it's just the way I'm playing it, but we'll get him soon. We're getting really close. You dodge to the side of the grab, not backwards. Am I, like, the times that I'm doing it, am I going, like, I'm definitely going backwards, but am I going backwards left? Maybe I need to go backwards left instead of straight back. You know, hitting him until 50%. Yeah, I'm definitely getting better. It's just certain attacks are, are, are um, getting me in the second phase. I'm not too great with some of them yet. And also, uh, I keep going for the stun, and I'm taking extra damage because I think I can sneak the stun in, and I'm just not that good yet. I think getting the, sneaking the stun is definitely the way to play at a higher level, though. Yeah, back into the left a little bit seems to do it.
No. No, it's uh I think I'm my frame through any other times. Or I'm too close to him. Shit. All right. Oh man, the dodge is away that he does when you're going for the stun. Oh man. Okay, so when he does the big electric thing up in the air, there's a ring around behind me that I can walk into, deal damage, stay close to him, and dodge some of that. Maybe even get some free hits. But my problem is, is I'm playing too conservatively in phase two. In phase two, there's all these moments I could be chipping in damage when he's going for his red attack and shit, and I'm not doing it because I'm concentrating so hard on getting the deflection timing down. I need to be comfortable. I need to just go for it like I am in phase one. I just need to slip in those those hits. And if I do that, he would have been dead like way earlier than that. So we'll see.
Yeah, alright. Pretty clean. Pretty clean, actually. Overcharge storage battery broken, whatever, core. Okay. Chat, I gotta say, that was a really, really good fight. I am really surprised how good of a fight that was. We started the game and it was like, okay, good aesthetics, good feel. And we got through the first area and the first boss, like, okay, the tutorial boss, it was pretty good, but it was, it was kind of a pushover. And then the second area, I was like, okay, what is it doing? It's really, it's running out of steam already. And then we get here and that was, I'm really struggling to think of a boss in these, in a souls like that isn't made by From that is better than that. That was a really, really, really good fight. Like, holy shit, that was a good boss. Neo, even Neo. Neo has some, some pretty good boss fights, but I feel like I'm too shit at the game to fully appreciate the intricacies of the boss fights. There are some really good boss fights in Neo, but I think even, even better than Neo. Hmm. And I really like Neo. Wow. Cool part you got there. Come here for a sec, would you? I picked up traces of high-powered energy originating far away. That's one mystery solved. Why don't we make a legion arm with it? Mr. Vanini is the expert when it comes to legion arms. Vanini, okay. But I'm pretty sure I can make one. The puppets get fried easily by electricity. If you use an electric legion arm, it'll make your life easier. Full Maninis, okay. It's a melee attack? It's a melee attack. 404, you say. Damage not found. Alright, 179 for a light. Mm, heavy's not that much more, actually. What about just a normal attack? 170. Did he take more damage because he was glowing white? What? Oh, okay. It's built up a, a debuff on him. How's this boss compared to Soulsborne bosses? I mean, like, FromSoft is no stranger to really shit bosses, don't get me wrong. You heard about the Blade of Mikola? That fight's actually pretty good. Um, You're going to the He's the I heard he went. I know my way around a weapon. Want me to look? Can we upgrade the weapon? I wonder if I would have liked that more if I was using a faster weapon to weave more. Maybe I don't want the slower weapon for this one. What's the long sword equivalent? Do you think the, the puppet saber blade is better? Now let's keep going with what we have until we find a couple more weapons and then we'll decide if we're going to switch. Gain humanity. Oh, look at that on the record. This is very code vein, huh? Uh oh. Well, this is getting copyright claimed. You saved Geppetto. Wonderful. He is on the second floor. He can hardly wait to see you. I'll use my power to help you. Touch the oil change inside me.
Just add some critique. What do you think of this ballad? Oh, sweet summer child. Do you really think the YouTube copyright bots are going to care if I'm talking while it's going on? Do you even think it's going to get to someone who's going to make a judgment call like that? All right, we're getting our hair done. Uh-oh. Uh, you've returned. Forgive a sentimental father for worrying about his son. Always remember that you're precious to me. Even when I ask you to do something dangerous. So it's Mega Man. Speaking of which, there's a factory just beyond the Lysian Boulevard. It's packed with countless puppets. My friend, the inventor Vinini, went to stop them, but he never came back. Please, go save him and shut down the factory. Um... P organs are the source of your powers. Collect quartz to get the strength you need. Heartbeats make me anxious. Why? Because it makes me think of my heart beating and how my heart is always beating, and it's just like it just, just feels so exhausting to be a heart, and then I think, is that going to make my heart give way? This is a lot of anxiety about heartbeats. It'll be extremely dangerous if anyone has ill intentions. Be careful who you tell about this place, especially if they're stalkers or alchemists. Be wary of dangerous people, and always be a good boy to me. Okay. Use the P organ to slots to activate your character's latent abilities. Equip quartz on the P organ to attain its corresponding effect. If you equip quartz in each of the slots in a single group, you can gain the, the, the group's synergy effect. Each time the synergy effect... Uh, can you quiet music? Synergy effect? What is this Path of Exile bullshit on the screen right now? You can get a greater variety of effects if you take your P organ to higher phases. Phase 1. Link dodge. Alright, we're... Okay, it's so weird to move this. Okay, increase pulse cells. I'm, I'm so confused. All right, so we have we have this one. If I slot a quartz in here, I. My springs are reacting. If I put my quartz in here, I get plus one pulse cells. You can get from City Hall. Alright, so if I put it in the P organ, can I switch it out afterwards? Hold on, do I have to do it with Geppetto or what? Here, isn't it? Activate my P organ. All right, here we go. So this is add fable slots. So that's for fable open. Honestly, those don't feel very good to me. Increase staggerable window. Increases time of enemy staggerable. Oh, that we need. We need that. Link dodge enables another dodge in the middle of a dodge motion. That sounds awesome. Let's try. Let's try this. So if I put one in here, I get it. Increase staggeration one. Can I? Do they have to match what they are? Enhance. Wait, what the fuck? What's a Legion magazine? Increase ergo upon eliminating an enemy. What? Oh, that seems really good. You get this now, and it just it just pays for itself throughout the whole entire run, right? That seems really good. Charge Legion when eliminating an enemy. That seems good too. Lower charge attack stamina consumption. Perfect guard, fable charge, enhance one. Increase weapon durability, recovery speed one. Survival type, lower damage while dodging one. Lower damage when discharged one. Enhance fatal attack, pulse cell charge. Enhance guard, your game recovery. 
Fatal attack, fable arts, increased stagger duration. I feel like we want increased stagger duration, but how much is it? Is it like is it like a second or what? Uh, increased stagger attack, increase the stagger attack of charge. We don't really use um. We don't really use our charge attacks to generate stagger. We're we're mostly about um, uh, blocking. Seems like there's nothing about that. Perfect guard, fable charge. That seems pretty good. We do that a lot, but it's not too much. I definitely want the gain increase ergo upon eliminating enemies. Let's see how this works. Use quartz to activate abilities. All right, I'm doing it. All right, so do I have this now? Can I take it out? No? Oh, God. Really? Oh, you can only pit put one quartz effect in each one. Okay. Uh, I kind of like the perfect guard fable charge enhance, but is there anything else we could do? Increase fable arts attack one. We don't really use that that much. Enhance charge stagger. It's duration. Let's get duration for sure. All right, so I filled both and now I have it. Okay, so that's how it works. Can I get all of them in phase one? If so, quartz is really valuable. All right, so what is this going to look like? Enables another dodge in the middle of a dodge motion. So I can change the direction of my dodge. What? Maybe it's only the quick step thing. The city asked me any Sorry. questions, and I'll fill in the gaps. All right, let's see. Venini Works is the puppet's main base. It's a factory. What are your thoughts on so far? I like it a lot. More of themselves. Vanini himself went to stop them, but I'm worried. He's an industrialist, not a fighter. Rescue Vanini and shut down his factory. That will deny the puppets their reinforcements. Okay, let's go do it. I don't want to fuss around too much with the story at the moment. Do we want to like use all of our? items that we got for more souls let's do it let's level up because once the green bar is bigger than the red bar we can actually start leveling up our uh, our damage is stromboli in this game it, it, it does sound like a spaghetti doesn't it or a pasta <laughs> a spaghetti oh my god this is so uncultured <sighs> thank you to uh quirrell for the resub thank you very much Quirrell. Thank you, Generic Gary, for, for subbing himself. Thank you, Generic Generous Gary. Thank you, Teddy Roosevelt for the resub. Thank you, Zornhow, for a specific amount of bits. 626 bits. I see the number 626 all the time. I wonder when I die, I'm going to look at a clock as I'm fading away and see 626 on the time or something. Hi, Joe. have been re-watching the VODs where you play through Slay the Spire tutorial, and these are so much fun. Hope you might consider streaming this game again someday. Enjoy Lies of P. I would like to play Slay the Spire again. Sometimes I play it on my own time, yeah. I'm not very good at it. I play better when I'm streaming. <laughs> Thank you, Static Toss Seven, for the resub. Drew Carrymore for the resub as well. Ever oh yeah, Evernights. A Windmill for the resub. Unzips P Organ. Thank you, A Windmill. Thanks. And thank you, T Pizzle, also for the resub. Thank you very much. Now that we have a moment to talk. Yeah. You must understand. The city is on its deathbed. The petrification disease spreads too fast, and the puppets rampage everywhere. Nobody knows what caused the disaster. Everyone in Krat is just trying to survive. Krat. That's why I found you. Our only hope, Geppetto's puppet. We're both unique. I am able to wield the power of Ergo. Power I used to call on you. That's all I can say for now. Please, save Krat. Maybe she's the last boss, and as you fight her, she drains your levels away that she gave to you. <laughs> you get, you get progressively weaker throughout the fight. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, so we have... Should we... I think we should upgrade our damage. I think, I think getting the 22 into, into, into vigor is, I think, enough. What's capacity do? Legion and weight. I don't think we need the weight up right now. Let's get motivity up. Okay. 
Okay, do you sell anything new? Welcome to Hotel Pro. Hey, Homelander. No, nothing new. Okay. Did you ever play Neo 2? Only for a little bit. I'd like to get back to it. I enjoyed it. I'd have to play Neo again and Neo 2 and see how it compared to this boss fight. This boss fight was, was so impressive to me. And I don't know if that's this is going to sound so shitty to say, but I don't know if it's because my standards are in the toilet when it comes to a, a Souls like that isn't made by From. Um, maybe that's not fair, but like this really impressed me. It felt like a really, really, really good fight. So. I'm I'm impressed at the moment. He said impressed, 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 impressed. Communication so hard. And we're about four hours. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go pee. Get up and walk around. You've been seeing the whole time. See you later. Man, I really like Lies of P's first level, but the second level was more like Ladders of P. Am I right, gamers? Oh, nice one. Plus two. That gets a plus two from me. 
Did we get anything else from the boss? Did we get a new amulet? Increases damage inflicted on puppets. Oh, we did. Okay. Crush, crush, crush. The executioner puppet didn't know the reason or significance, but carried out his role. Okay, that's too weight, though. What happens when the weight gets too high? Oh, we're slightly heavy now. Uh-oh. What does slightly heavy mean? It means our dodge roll recovery is a bit slow. Interesting. How much more damage? That seems important. Maybe we should put a lighter one on and then we're less we're not heavy anymore. Alright, there we go. Friends. Bench friends. Faded whistle. Enigma assembly tool. Collectible. A faded police whistle. It's been worn smooth from use. What? The children blew the whistle for their friends. He may have been discarded as a failure, but in those moments at least, he was the children's police officer. Is that for the kid in the window, maybe? Was this, uh, was this Murphy? Wanna go see? Oh, look, it's on there. The whistle's on there. Do you speak any other languages beyond English? I can barely speak English. Uh, no, I don't. I learned some German in high school, but the high school I was in did not teach languages very well. I wasn't in Canada long enough at an early age to start be, to start uh, being taught French, and uh, in Wales it was the opposite. It was like we moved over, and uh, I think I had like a lesson before we came over to Canada, and then when I came back, everyone was so far advanced in terms of speaking Welsh that I just didn't bother to learn. If only we could play together like we used to, Murphy. I miss you. Oh. If only we could parfait. Okay, no? Is there another one? No. Huh. Can you use the whistle? Uh, I don't think so. All right, you right, chat? Hey, is that you, Murphy? I know that whistle. It must be Murphy. Thanks for coming by. I want to play, but... I feel too sick. I don't think I can. I miss Zach and Sophie and Eric. I wish we could all play. Eric! <sighs> Radiant Ergo Fragment. Oh, that's nice. So he died, huh? He died? Okay, so I can... Dodge much faster. Oh, that's really good, actually. Huh.
try the whistle again. I heard someone whistling just now. Is it gone? He's dead. What's the sound? Is it from the game or the microphone? If it's from the microphone, it's probably the wind. My window's open and it's pretty stormy here lately. Oh, we should have went to the checkpoint. Very Yarnum, right? Yarnum meets Half Life. <laughs> it's kind of Yarn Yarnum. Please tell me the game's been good so far. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's been pretty good. The boss we just did was was excellent. Find the whistle, please. Right here. At bench friends. Who made this game? Chat did. Let me show you to you. Uh, chat, who made this game? made this game. Uh, I don't know who made this game. Here it is. Vanini works. Everything you see here belongs to Vanini, the classiest player and most brilliant inventor in Krat. Just ask him. Not just puppets. Almost every machine and tram in Krat is supplied from here. You gotta be curious about the guy. What kind of person is he? I wish we could find him. And he's still kicking. Destroyed. Oh no! Rumbled! These things are creepy. Okay, they seem to be weak to lightning, maybe. What phone do you use? Uh, Samsung Note something. I don't know offhand, sorry. I'm not a big phone person. I use my phone quite a lot, um, but this is the first smartphone that I've gotten a lot of use out of. I had a Windows phone a long time ago. I didn't really use it all that much. Um, I was pretty late getting a cell phone. Couldn't afford it for a long time. But I use my phone a lot now. 
but I'm not like, big on the tech. I don't get excited by the prospect of getting a new phone or whatever. Do you have games on your phone? I have Variant Sudoku on my phone, but apart from that, no, I don't have any, any games on my phone. I don't really play games on my phone. I watch YouTube on my phone, I do Variant Sudoku, and uh, I text uh, naughty things to Lily. Like, what do you want from Burger King? Or make sure you text me the order so I don't forget when I get there. Slut. Are those cans? My fancy does fancy this is too, but for Taco Bell? Jerma does like Taco Bell. Sorry. I don't think I've ever had Taco Bell. I have not, I'm sorry, I've, I've never partaken of the Taco Bell. I've never had the opportunity. I would like to. My I learned something about myself last week. I think I'm starting to like tacos better than burrito. Usually I was a burrito boy, but now I feel like I'm turning into a taco man. Still like the burrito. Soft or hard shell? Soft. That's gotta get a base, right? Based? Soft shell is based? I am the taco man. Correct? Exactly. You know what? I'm just running past and getting the, the Ergo back. Oh, there's so many of them! Taco Bell is one of those things that's like really gross, but you still really crave it sometimes, right? Yeah? Is a hot dog a sandwich? And we're not doing this. Really gross and dramatic, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Taco Bell is perfect drunk food. How often are you getting drunk? That you have, like, drunk food in this economy? How are, how are you funding your drunken escapades in 2023? Foggy day. Why is it saying the day? Is it like, does the, the time move here? Alright, well, there's someone we missed over there. 
Drunk food is a mindset, inebriation isn't required. It's amazing, I knew that was Baldur before I read the username after reading that out. Will you play Resident Evil 4 DLC? I mean, probably eventually, yeah. I really, really enjoyed Resident Evil 4 Remake. That was a really good time. Uh, hoi hoi. Does he know? Only the living solve riddles, as everyone knows that's a must. When your city is so full of puppets, it seems are about fit to bust. <laughs> How long is this going for? It's time for the riddle. No more waiting. We thank you for participating. <laughs> By morning, it walks on feet numbering four. Human. Gonna be monster. Correct. Fantastic insights, caller. But not everything has to rhyme, you know. I'm not a caricature. I'm the king of riddles. That said, how do we know you didn't just get lucky? Even a stop clock is right twice a day, and even a puppet can be accidentally correct just by random chance. <laughs> Still, a promise is a promise. Arlecchino. My springs are reacting! Alright, what's the Trinity key for? Does it open something that gives me a quartz? Because I would like a quartz. Quartz seem pretty good. Do, do. Thank you to A Christ for the resub. Thank you much, A Christ. Joe, do you ever watch Never Knows Best? I feel like your styles aren't entirely dissimilar. I think Never Knows Best, the only video I've watched of theirs was the one on adult games. I think that's the only one I've, I've watched from them. That's the same person, right? I think? He did that one? Fairly certain. Oh, Igni! Igni. I'm a witch. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, thank you, Aaron Explosives, for the new sub as well. Thank you very much, Aaron. Yeah, it's got to be Aaron Explosives. That one got deleted. Set. Did it really? Oh, man. Yeah, I remember Never Knows Best had some problem with his channel, right? Did he get it resolved? It got completely demonetized. Was it because of that video? Someone said that uh, Taco Bell discontinued their most popular item. That seems like bad business to me. Capitalism hates this. Chain. What's the chain for? Some... Something double cheese taco or something? Someone said something like that. The most disgusting food item from any fast food place that I like, and is also got discontinued, was the KFC double down or whatever that didn't have a bun, and instead it was two pieces of ch fried chicken with some 
cheese and bacon or whatever the fuck in between the two things. And I looked at that and they had it for a long time. And I was like, there's no way that's good. There's no way that's good. And then some someday they were having like a free promotion. So they're kind of like, just like, it's coming with it. So you, you have to have it. You know, you can't say no, it's illegal. And I'm like, okay, fine, fuck it, I'll take it. And I went home and I ate it and it was good. Oh man, I was like, I'm eating it and I was so upset. I was like, oh god damn it, I'm this kind of person that likes this shit. Like it was good. Electric Blitz is effective for subduing puppets. Get out if you're not a stalker. I've only had it once. So I was able to resist the allure of getting them again. But like, it was so good. these animations do you still hold the silent hill 2 string opinion of when you said if it has has meat and is less than a dollar it will make your butthole holler you know what it sounds like something I said that does sound like something I'd said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, th I think that's that's true, yeah. Honestly, in this economy, and that we're talking Canadian, I think the absolute minimum that you should be spending on food for a meal from a place that you shouldn't be suspicious of the quality of, now this is absolute minimum, is like five bucks. If anything costs less than five bucks, you should be looking at this and going, hmm, how are they cutting these corners to get there? I'm not saying that's a good thing, I don't think that the current state of like prices and shit is good, but I think that if it's cheaper than that, you should be a little, little, uh, a little worried. Oh, by the way, PSA because we we recently like confirmed this like over a couple couple of times getting food. Um, if you're the kind of person that a lot of you are gonna go, yeah, well done, I knew this already, but maybe it'll help some people. If you're the kind of person that orders like um, takeout to get delivered through one of like the the Uber Eats or Skip the Dishes services or whatever, um, you should know that the prices are inflated on the menu when you order it. So. You might think, oh, it's just, I'm ordering the food and I, it's the cost of delivery plus the tip for the for the driver or whatever, like, and whatever service charge the place charges. No, the, the prices are also higher for the menu items than if you went to the place yourself. So there's like a lot of hidden, um, uh, like buffs to the price of the food that you might not know about. It's not just delivery fees. I mean, duh. I mean, I think it's easy to think that because of all the fees that you'd be like, okay, like, the prices of the food are going to be the same, but they're not. It's quite a bit more, actually. I think it's about, like, depending on the place, I think it's between 20 and 33, a third more. Why am I bad at this game, chat? Are tips necessary to give, though? I think that if someone is driving your food to you, that you should tip them, yeah. I think you should tip delivery drivers and servers at a restaurant you definitely shouldn't tip when you go and pick up although sometimes i'm scared and i still do depends on the place there's a place i go and and they have like earned my patronage regularly because they do this when i go and pick it up they um automatically exit out the tip option like, there's no, like, oh, are you going to give us a tip? Can we stick a tip out of you? They, 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 they cancel it out when they uh, when they do it. What about tipping over-the-counter workers like McDonald's or Subway? Absolutely not.
Here's a weird one. If someone, if you order like an appliance, like like a fridge or something, like a heavy appliance or a couch, and they and they come to, to deliver to you, should you tip the people that, that bring it to your house? I think yes. You should not tip anyone ever. I mean, I want to live in that world, but we don't. What if I use it now? Will you go away? Can't be used. Enemy is nearby. All right. This game's hard, chat. These enemies are tanky. Even the little trash, like tra crash test dummies uh, around, are, are pretty tanky. Servers already make minimum wage uh, in New Brunswick. Why are they deserving of tips and not other minimum wage workers? Because they. I'm trying to think of the right word. I, for some reason, my brain went to preside. Like they provide a, an ongoing service for the whole time that you're there. And I think that servers deserve that for putting an extra effort and looking after you while you're there than someone who's just there to take your order and then you're gone with a very quick transaction. I was watching the Danganronpa streams back recently and I must ask, why do you know what Monster Girl Quest is? I don't. What's that? What's Monster Girl Quest? What's that? Lies of J? Uh oh. Uh oh. Game better. Maybe I'm not respecting the game enough. Like if I sit there and concentrate and actually look for the timings instead of just trying to hit and run on trash packs, it goes better. How's the game's exploration so far? Probably the weakest part of it. The level design and going around has not been that interesting to me. It's kind of filler. I feel like those wheels are a Dark Souls reference. It's actually a Berserk reference because it popped on oh, another one. Puppet of the What do you mean corruption? No, I'm 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 leaving. Goodbye, Puppet of the Future. Yeah, you're in the future for real because we're not fighting you yet. You're in our future. There's no way we're fighting in fucking swampses. See you later. Yeah, he's he's for it too. Okay, cool. See you later. Drain the swamp. What do you think about Neo Structure? I like Neo Structure. It knew what it was. It was very self-contained. This feels like it's going to be self-contained with like little bridging parts between the levels. But I found Neo was more interesting with what you could do. I don't know. Neo. There's something kind of weird about Neo that I couldn't put my finger on when we played it. That just felt kind of off. I liked it a lot. I wasn't really good at. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. Like something's gonna jump out any second. It's okay, pal. Gemini's looking out for you. It's, it sounds like he's talking to someone else. I was really bad at fluxing, and fluxing is a really important part of Neo's combat that I couldn't get down properly. It was just too much for me. But I really like that it's there. I like it when games have optional systems like that that you can get really good at over time uh, when you return to the game. But I felt like I, I wasn't 
vibing with Neo's combat quite as much as I should have been because of that. Neo feels cheap to me as far as level designs go for some reason. Yeah, I, I would agree. Cheap is a really good word to describe. Oh, for, not again! Fucking. Yeah, cheap is a really good way of describing it. I would agree with that. Oh, look at this guy with his tiny little wheel trying to be his hero, the guy with the big wheel outside. Oh, maybe one day I'll be one of those big robots with the even bigger wheel, but right now I'm going around with this. So here we go. I'm just a gearhead for now. Big bro. I actually really never felt Neo's level design this cheap. No, not cheap like that. I don't know, sorry, I don't know if that's what, what that chatter was talking about. I mean, so in terms of like, like quality, it felt kind of cheap. I don't know how to explain this. I know it's not a very good descriptive word. I'm not talking about fairness. Cheap is a weird word, I agree. So is Witcher. Witcher is a weird word. From what I played in Neo 2, it felt like an improvement to me in that game, from Neo 1. production wise yeah but I don't think the game is lacking in budget or anything else that just kind of I don't know like just kind of thrown together just kind of haphazardly with the assets even I don't know I don't know how to explain it that makes it sound like it's it's cheap in an unfairness way but it's not really Neo's pretty fair all right it's it's the box boss uh oh just a box with a health bar. Alright, that was cool. with you, dude. <gasps> Motivity crank. A crank invented at the workshop. Adjustment to wep weapon handles. Hmm. This area is much more interesting than what happened, what came before. Alright, that looks like a checkpoint. Alright, cool. Yeah. you can kill the robot of the future right then and there. This 
also is like Dark Souls. It's very much like Dark Souls. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. shh, 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 shh. What? Oh, damn. All right. Die Jobu. Reminds me of someone from Dark Souls 2, the double shield, bro. There was another game that had like a two shield guy that was really tough. What game was that? He's really weak to that. Easy peasy. Okay. You know what? I hate that the game is making me use all my different uh, movesets and everything. Like, I can't just be a basic boy and just use, like, dodge roll and, and my weapon attack. Like, Code Vanjo would be ashamed right now. Heh, <laughs> you're actually making me go all out. Basic weapon, but... <laughs> Who are you? This looks oh, you're not dead. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I knew it. Wait, where does it go? Oh, it goes down. Oh, so do we. Uh oh. Maybe there was a secret down there, but okay. All right. Thank you, Lies of P. Is this the future robot area? No, it's not. This gives me corruption. Right? Okay. Am I like supposed to just eat the corruption?
send the sewers? I had so much fun when Finn first got the Sens Fortress. He was so upset. Oh, it was so much fun. <laughs> I told him to get good so many times. Alright, we're we kicking this ladder down. Oh, the ladder was here the whole time! Oh, what the hell? I love Sens Fortress. It's pretty good, right? I should have upgraded my weapon more at this point. I feel like my sword is... My damage output's really weak. Oh, it's future robot! That looks neat. I like that. Okay, you know what, chat? I'm going for it. Now, this feels like you sneak around him and drain the swamp, right? What does corruption do? Snake, climb faster! Snake! It won't kill you, right? Oh no! Corruption occurs when corruption damage builds up. When the status effect triggers, your character's HP continues to drain. Use purification and peel to remove status ailments. It doesn't. Okay, phew. I thought for it might be like curse from from uh, from Dark Souls for a second there. All right. Thoughts on having the red circle for indicator to do a critical attack? I think it's better than the alternative of having your character teleport to that specific place whenever you do an attack next to them. Maybe the part of the enemy could just glow instead, instead of it being like a circle. Like, I think that happens as well, but the red circle might be overkill, I'm not sure.
Which route did you pick near the end of the main story of Blood and Wine the first time you played it? Uh, I've beaten Blood and Wine three times. I think the first time... I'm trying to think of how to say it without spoilers. I got the good ending the first time. Let's put it that way. I really like the the ending of Blood and Wine, or the the choice uh, of them. Oh, I okay. Here's a better way to do it. Uh, I went Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale. There you go. Fairy tale, mostly happy. There you go. But I really like the context of the choice uh, that Blow and Wine gives you. It's a it's a talking point in the video for quite a bit actually. How even though players don't, many players will only see one choice. The fact that they do have a significant choice and something diff really different can happen makes the the choice that you do go through feel more authentic in a way because this isn't the only way it could have played out. It's not just a little, like, slightly different ending at the end, too. It's, like, significantly different. Check me new weapons. I think we have two new weapons, don't we? Uh, booster Glaive. Ooh. And Salamander Dagger Blade. I don't remember picking this up. just drops? Yo, what are the stats on this? One thirty plus twelve. Hmm. Fable charge. I don't really like the the small one. This seems fun. Should we try this? I. Are we heavy? Slightly heavy. God damn it. Oh, we're back here! I th Oh, we went up the wrong ladder. Oh, damn. Okay, shit. I thought we went up the ladder that was, uh... It was on the other side. Okay. We're gonna get corrupted, but we have some healing. Is there another ladder over here that we didn't get? No, okay. Does the blader handle determine moveset, or maybe both somehow? I think the handle determines the moveset. So if I put the dagger blade on this, it would be a tiny little dagger that, that has this moveset. I think. Pretty cool system, actually. I like it. There's a lot of cool ideas in this game. Game of the year dropping a bit late this year, huh? Good clip.
we're not heavy anymore. Right, so what if we did do that? What if we do we have to do that at the uh, at the bonfire? Let's see. Assemble weapons. So if we take the the blade from the 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 dagger and we put it on the the glaive handle and we assemble. As the weight of your equipped items increases, your movement speed and stamina recovery speed slow down. When you reach the weight limit, it greatly slows down your speed. Upgrade your capacity to increase the weight limit of items you can equip. Okay. Alright, so now it's this, this big thing with a small, small dagger. Okay, it seems like it swings significantly faster. Right? Boom. Boom. That's really fast. I wonder if that does a lot of damage. Let's kind of see. It is, isn't it? A lot of, lot of custom, um, customizability. So what moveset do I like the most? Is there a way I can just like reset all the weapons so I can try them? Like what if I put the claymore on the glaive? What regions would you like to see in Witcher 4? Why are you putting that evil on me? What the hell? Put the dagger blade on the glaive handle. I want to know that what that would even do. I just did that. Or do you mean put the put the glaive, the big one, on the on the dagger handle? So it's like a tiny little handle. Nilfgaard. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing some of Nilfgaard. What's the red? Why are we red? Oh, butterfly! Oh shit, where is it? Okay, we need to get the hell out of here or else we're never getting our souls back after we uh after we die because we're gonna run out of healing I think you want to lure them back and fight them over here and then and then clear it out do you upgrade blade the handle or both in this game I think you upgrade both but I think so far we've only upgraded the blade all right, so what do people want me to do? They want me to put the the glaive blade on the dagger handle. <laughs> it's a machete. That's neat. That's good. Man, look at the cool flexibility and all the different movesets that are supplied by this system of sticking one pyro weapon to another. Dynamically, you know, some might even say fusing them together. Each with different movesets with varied playstyles and special attacks. Huh. 
How many are we up to right now? It's just the beginning of the game? Damn, look at them all. Huh. Alright, so what's the best one to do? I kind of like what we got with the glaive going on. I like that. Alright, uh, we're over time. I don't mind going a little, uh, little bit further. Uh, but I'd like to see another boss. I'm sorry I'm dense. Which game are you shading? All of them. Tears of the Kingdom. The game that is going to lose Game of the Year to Baldur's Gate 3. You'd love to see it? What the fuck? He loves Baldur's Gate 3 now. Interesting. <laughs> Get on. I think the system could be improved if you could swap weapon parts without going back to the bonfire. Like, maybe you could, say, drop the material on the ground first after scrolling through your entire materials menu first. Yeah, definitely don't make a favorite system or any any quick way to macro it or hotkey it. No, you, you have to scroll through every single time. Get the weapon out. Get the item out. Drop it on the floor. Then go up and press LB. Go through the power that you want. Slow boat target it with, with right analog stick. Absolutely, yep. That would make it way better. Oh, another one! Oh man, another one! Holy shit! I mean, it's cool, but at the same time, it's it's just an axe. <laughs> it's, it's literally just an axe. All right, what if the stats are good on it? Ooh. Green sweeps. Admirers seem to follow me everywhere. Mommy, this. Okay, you know what? I feel like I'm not fitting in. One second. All right. Pleased to see you, my stalker friend. You made it all the way here, unbothered by ruffians. You've got talent. I've never seen you before, but who cares? This may well benefit our former client. Did you catch that subtle whiff of money in the air? I'm uh, Donkey Bags Darko. Money himself, Lorenzini Vanini, is inside this factory this very moment. You caught us on our return trip. We had to deny his ridiculous request in person just to be sure it wasn't a joke. All we could do was laugh. Keep your whiskers up if you're heading in there. He is the richest man in Krat. Or so they say. Who knows? Maybe he's handing out bags of money to lift his spirits. Ha! <laughs> that seems unlikely. No way are we doing that. Well, anyhow, best of luck. Are you carrying the latest edition of Vanini's Landmark Guide? It's the most popular non-fiction work in Kratz these days. Maduro wrote the actual guide, but Vanini published and financed it. It goes for a premium at the shop, but Maduro might not get his cut. He went missing recently, which of course made that volume more popular than ever. If you can get all three volumes collectors want, then you can get four. No, five thousand for it at the shop. But you're in luck. I have a conscience and a powerful sense of self-preservation. I'll let this one go for 500. That's a good investment. Don't sleep through it. You'll wish you had this, and the price is a steal. Let me know if you have any interest. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Warning, this book has been banned. If found, please report. I I'm, I'm Absolutely, yeah. What could go wrong? 
Best of luck to you, my friend. Try axe with dagger handle. I can't uh, do it right now. When we get to the next bonfire, we'll try it. I feel like there's going to be a boss down here. I also feel like we didn't fully explore this area. The pausing! It's so trolly! For a single moment, can you wear the donkey mask with a sailor outfit? For you, Dalmec, of course. There you go. That doing it for anybody? Oh, this outfit might be better. What do we think? This outfit? Or the blouse? I think I like this. This looks pretty good. Genbu. my weapon chat. I think I found my weapon. This is a good weapon. Oh, Trinity Key from doing the puzzles. Can you take his clothes off? I don't think you can wear nothing, can you? No, you have to wear something. Alright, where is this? This looks familiar. Is that the checkpoint? Oh, this is where we fought the, the shield robot. Okay, so we can use... Run back here. Alright. Oh, for fuck's sake. Question of the day. Did this factory worker ever think he would be destroyed like a puppet? Three, create one. You who open the door, be one with the great ones. Blue Blood's Tailcoat Quartz. Alright, it's kind of shitting out quartz. We digging it? That's the box art outfit, basically the Elite Knight set of this game. Ah, nice. Alright, let's keep it on then. I'm all turned around. This way. Enjoying it? I am. That's why I'm so quiet. Sorry, I'm kind of forgetting I'm streaming now then because I'm enjoying the game so much. I really like it. Oh, hi. hey, dude. Who the fuck are you? You mind if I just uh, open right by you there and open the door? Thanks, bud.
Oh, 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 he is not happy. Okay. So we go back the way we came, and then we go up the ladder, and that's the shortcut back. I feel like we're really close to a boss, and we can see one more boss, and then I'll die to a couple times, and then we can end the stream. Back to the fountain, Bronzy. Bronzy. I do have a lot of souls. We should level up, yeah. Can I just drop down here? Yeah. Uh, it's here, right? Okay, so what I don't like about this weapon set is that there's no chain off of the R2. Oh, there is. Was I just low on stamina? I must have been low on stamina. Okay, cool. There is. Nice. All right, never mind. I take back my criticism. The more I use my, this weapon, the more I find myself revoking my earlier criticism. That sound effect reminds me of something. Like from a YouTube series. Oh, that's where you guys are. Will you help me fight or no? Why is his health so so big chat? said you can't dodge the the red attacks you absolutely can hmm even up close i thought maybe it would track you but no you can dodge them so you just can't iframe them okay uh, what did this do this took fire away It's not, you just do no damage. Have I not wep kept up with upgrading my weapon, maybe? I can believe it. I can believe it, yeah. What did I just get? Uh, reduces weapon durability consumption. Sure, that sounds good.
too slow. Is there permanent durability? Or is it just for sharpening? I don't know what happens if you keep using the weapon uh, when it gets slow. I think it's just for sharpening. So far, it's just kind of busy work, but there was a boss earlier that we had to like manage sharpening throughout the fight. And I kind of liked it. I thought I added something to do while the boss was uh, was uh, was uh, fighting or was uh, doing something we need to stay away from him. I wonder if the if your weapon is fully sharpened, if it does more damage. If I if I just keep topping this up throughout the fight, I wonder if it, it does more. We haven't tested that. All right, what did this do? It it, did, it took. Oh, it drained the swamp. You can drain the swamp. Oh. Oh, okay. Has this stopped? No. No, it hasn't stopped. I feel like we didn't go up here. Oh god damn it. Get on. Doctor's Confessions. All right, I'll read this one. My name is Clark Shore. People call me Dr. Cureall. I intend to confess my, my sins. I actually am not a doctor. I made innumerable medicine sales under the guise of it being a cure-all. At first, even I was sure about my experiment. Early on, the cure really was effective at neutralizing the petrification disease. And why would the great alchemist's records be wrong? I know I stole it, but I perfectly followed the manufacturing process. My cure was perfect. But what went wrong? I dare not record what the ones who got treated turned into. That was literally hell, and when I realized that I was the gatekeeper who opened the doors, I ran away. How can I atone for my sin? I only tried to treat patients and earn a few extra coins. I'm dying and this is my uh, penitence. I also have the petrification disease, but I'm not getting the cure. I'd rather turn to stone and freeze to death. God, please forgive my terrible sins. Who knew the world? How much has he been hating this so far? I really like the game. More fool you chatter. I think the game's pretty good. What's all this lore in here? Not enjoying the not enjoying the lore. Oh shortcut my shortcut. Not a big fan of Jiminy. Luigi is a jerk, apparently. Alright, let's go back, level up, and then we're going to come back here and we're going to run through and see if we can get a boss. And then we'll end the stream fighting a boss. Have you seen that Jom spread to another big streamer? Kraken? No? That's terrifying. How'd that happen? One of his emotes on the channel now. Someone redeemed it for one mil of his coins. Lol. Oh wow! I'll use my power to help you. As the owner of the rights to Joms, I am devastated. I was not consulted. 
What do we want to do? Motivity? Ooh, we can get up to 24-14. What about technique? Okay, plus 31-21. So what we have right now scales better with technique than motivity, right? Am I reading this right? But do we want to invest all points into technique when we can instead level them up kind of evenly just in case we switch later? Let's do that. Just in case. Because we never know if we're going to stick with something. I know my way around it. Someone wanted me to put the fire axe on the dagger handle, which is this one. So we can upgrade the great sword. So we're upgrading the blade right now, not the handle. How do we upgrade the handle? Or can you not? Is the handle just the move set, and you can't upgrade that? All right, now we need a crescent moons. Oh, alter handle. Maybe that's it. Oh, we can make it better with motivity instead, with a motivity crank, and then we can change it back. Is that good for us? It does more. So motivity goes to a C, but technique goes down to down to a C. So it makes it more balanced. Hmm. I don't know if that's for the best. It might be. Do we get the crank back if we if we switch it? Hmm. I don't want to do that. Just in case. I don't know how rare these are. And uh, we we have we found some quartz. Let's go upgrade our shit up there too. Oh, look at that! Unlimited run stamp! Ooh, there's a cat! Meow. What, what, what? What's wrong? What's wrong? Eh, yeah, typical cat. I think it's a nice touch when you have unlimited stamina to run around during the uh, like non-combat areas of the game. It shows that the people who played the, made the game really played it and knew what would be annoying. I think Dragon's Dawn did that too, didn't it? All right, so we can phase two. Phase two must be activated. How do we activate phase two? All right, what do we want? Do we want add fable slots, add increase staggerable window one, or increase pulse? You gotta go increase pulse cells, right? So what are we putting on there? Oh, interesting. So you keep, you do a spread of these all over it. All right. Enhance Fable Attack Arts. Yeah, we do that. Let's do that. And then... Enhance Guard re Regain Recovery. Enhances Guard Regain Recovery when attacking enemies. Uh, that one we do a lot too. Let's, let's go with that. Right, there we go. Oh, we need one more. Oh, it's unlocked. We're done. Increase Pulse Cells... Rising dodge enables dodging when on the ground. Like when you're knocked down, you do a recovery roll thing. That's what it means. Retain guard. Retain guard regain one. Retains a certain amount of guard regain when receiving damage. Oh, that's interesting. And add amulet slots. Cool. All right. What does chain shape mean? Oh. 
Dragon's Den is panicking right now about the speeds at which Joms has spread. <laughs> I like uh, that none of these things are fucking five poison resistance from like in Starfield. I know, right? It's it's so refreshing to have the upgrades be like, damn, that's pretty good. And even like the small little ones that you're slotting into it, you might be like, okay, those are the, those are small, but they're adding flavor to the big one that you're getting with it, right? Like it's so much better. Starfield, what's that? Clueless? What? You don't get it, chat? He tweeted a job. <laughs> what do you mean he tweeted a job? Why is that so funny? He tweeted a job. Oh no. Jobs is on Twitter. Aqua got norted. Joe, you need to respond and go on Twitter. Uh, a little help, anyone? Wealthy and dashing philanthropist in need of assistance. Warning: Beware when handling corrosive chemicals. Be careful not to melt your fingers. Sir, a second job has hit Twitter. <laughs> uh. All right, Benini. Pull yourself together. You have a duty to this city and to your own sterling reputation. to kill me surely we can discuss this like reasonable people hold on geppetto is a friend of yours did he send you yes I, i'm I, i'm fine please help me find my butler pulcinella he's a puppet and a friend those stalkers were supposed to be working for me but uh, well they bolted and left me to my fate. That was not helpful. My butler went to barricade the back door, and I haven't seen him since. Pulcinella has been a loyal companion. I'd hate to lose him. The factory is, of course, my priority. We must take it back. But please, keep an eye out for my... for my butler. I'd consider it a personal favor and owe you in kind. Fear. Puppets don't have human rights. Sorry, Teddy. Did Jazz come up with Joms? Top Lolly is the original creator of Joms. Until I acquired the rights. So I am now the original creator of Joms. That's how it works, right? I made Joms. I made this. No, it's Top Lolly. What is Joms? Joms is Weeb Clifford. I hope this settles the matter for you. Technique Crank. Hmm, okay. Think of the merchandise merchandising options, Joe. You can put the kids through college with it. No one's gonna buy a uh, Joms plushie. And one day we'll prove it by having a Joms plushie and no one will buy it. We'll have two versions, a cute and cursed version. The cute is like, 
you know, oh, that's a cute plushie, you know, it's, it's a normal kind of plushie. And then the cursed version will be like, like, whoa, this plushie looks haunted. Has weird teeth, weird eyes. Which one will be more popular? Can you do the B Koi voice again? Again? What's the B Koi voice? I don't remember a B Koi voice. Alright, can we sneak attack this thing? I don't know what that was. Workshop something. Stop linking me merch stuff! I have enough to do! I'm not even doing the stuff I'm supposed to be doing right now! You don't even need to do anything you don't know! And who's losing her shit right now and she doesn't know why. Somewhere. Alright, what's this? Boss time? What? Do you wish to use a star- Oh, no, absolutely not. Alright, is it boss time? Yeah, it's definitely boss time. Alright. Whirling. Dang, long ass show straight. They've been longer lately. It was supposed to be four hours, but we've been going longer. Starfield conditioned me to do longer streams again, because I know Starfield's not going to get copyright claimed. Oh, this thing looks neat. King Flame. King's Flame Fuoko. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, 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 what? What do you mean? Do you? Okay, like it's it's in a pattern. Oh, I'm fighting an armored Cormac now. All right, that's nice. Hmm. 
All right, so feels kind of similar to the last boss. A bit slower. Hmm. I wonder if you can parry that that charge, or if you have to dodge roll out of the way. Are you the Joms guy? <sighs> Top Lolly, I will send you another round of feet picks if you take the rights back. What do you say? How many hidden drums are in the Witcher 3 video? None, zero. They're all on full display, proud. Proudly drums. You don't understand. He tweeted a joke. There's no way you can parry that, right? Sounds like the name of a character in a Persona game that has the worst romance in the group. Oh man, you picked Fuoko? What, are you, what were you thinking? I don't know, man. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Okay, so I need to parry just a little bit before I think. Whoa, what the fuck was that? I'm dead. I'm not dead. That was not the, the charging one. Okay, so when we transition into phase two, move away, try not to get by the fire, but if you do lots and lots of, um, of stamina to roll, uh, parry a little sooner or block a little sooner when the stompy move happens, but everything else I'm dodging a little too late. Hide behind the pipe, maybe. It, may, it looked like it made lines on the floor that you could avoid, but if that doesn't work, then yes, definitely hide behind the pi uh, pipe, yeah. I say parry when I mean uh, like a, a perfect block, a timed block, it, it does a deflection column, etc. Do you like Ace Column? Sorry, Armored Core 6 or Starfield better? There were a lot of moments in Armored Core 6 that are like head and shoulders way far above the best moments of Starfield. However, on a long enough timeline, and that timeline being like playing those games for the appropriate amount of hours that they are, I think I would enjoy Starfield just a touch more than Armored Core 6. 
but it just wins of the quality of like a pretty decent time that's gonna give me a lot of armored core six is not that great to me like the filler missions are really bad all right i need to stop being so aggressive That hit me. Whoa. Oh, you sneaky robot. He was uh, staggerable there, so I was charging R2 attack and he turned around and killed me. Okay, I'm being too aggressive. I need to play more reactively here. I'm not that good at the fight yet, so I need to play more reactively while I learn the dodge timings. Or the, the parry timings. I think dodging the, the charge is definitely the best play, because then you can get free hits on his back afterwards. Starfield or Final Fantasy 16? Man, I don't know, that's a tough one. Final Fantasy 16 had a pretty good combat system. The game was just too long. Alright, he's pretty good at like how his Oh you think I'm staggered but I'm actually gonna flow into a new attack here. Pretty organic looking, ironically. Looks like his lines on the floor, right?
close. Yeah, it's getting better. If I had gotten that off just like a frame sooner, do you think we would have uh, we would have got him? Stunned him down? Would have done a lot of damage? I feel like maybe we would have gotten him there. Shit. Is Hi-Fi Rush uh, your goatee? Right now? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. It was probably the game I had the most fun with. Man, we're going in but lacking heals. Sucks. I thought she was really good. What about Baldur's Gate 3? Haven't played it, weep. Sorry. I'm not a Redditor. I can't judge a game I haven't played. Dodge right on that. What? Eh, I guess so. Oh man. I thought it was a charge. How's it going so far? Really good. I'm really enjoying it. I felt like this was the first proper skill test in the game. Really? I think the last boss was way harder than this. Maybe I hadn't upgraded my shit enough for the last boss? I feel like we're almost close to killing this already. Does it, oh, wait, hold on. Does this have a phase two? Maybe it has a phase two. Maybe that's why. Maybe I'm speaking too soon. I'm assuming that when the health bar goes to zero, the fight's over, but maybe it only just begins. Oh man, get staggered, come on! Okay, I have not seen the kick move where you have to, to be able to read it. I think this is the one, Lies of P, bros. I think this is the one. Oh no! Shh, 
Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Uh-oh, again? How are you allowed to do it again? It's Jover. It's so Jover. soon on the block for that. Oh, if only I had gotten the block on that. It's pretty close to phase two. This or, Sek or Sekiro harder to parry? Hmm. This is a lot more slower methodical parrying. I think it's harder to chain in Sekiro. It feels more natural in Sekiro. Here it feels like I'm really studying when the boss starts to move toward me and it's a bit hard to read. Sometimes they hold the, the pose for a long time and I think you're meant to hit them and then, and then attack them, but I'm actually running out of stamina doing that, so maybe not. Not a good start. Not a good start. How is that not a deflect? The second one there. This guy looks like a UTI because he burns the P. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right, I think one more attempt and then we're going to be done and then we'll start this tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Well, we'll start tomorrow with fan art and then we'll go into this tomorrow. Lame the kick. How do you see the kick? He does the kick so infrequently. You know what? That's a bad one to end on. One more. One more. Fuck it. One more. One more. Can we get a special ex exem exception for Piss Chan art during this game? It's called Lies of P. So, yes, you can. He said lying.
almost think that was busted. We didn't get lit on fire, we're fine. Every time, every time I think he's doing the charge, and every time it's not, it's the fucking hammer. Oh shit. Do another move. Every fucking time. What the? Man. Oh man, I thought he was doing the hammer. How, how are you supposed to tell him when he's doing the hammer? He, he did a weird noise there. I haven't heard him do. Fuck, that was so close. That was so close. There's got to be a difference. There's got to be a difference. He's going, yeah, how could I not after that attempt? Come on. That was so close. Until I find out when he glows right, I should just back away. Back away to the back and the right. Okay, he holds his hand up and there's like the, the hammer, the fist spins. So spinny fist means he's doing a charge.
One more. One more. This is last time for real. Last time for real. Last time for real. How are you supposed to dodge that then? How are you supposed to know he's going to do the fireball? Does he always dodge away before quick step then fireball? Hmm. Sometimes I feel like he does it just standing still. Is that not a protection? The greed! The greed! Oh no! I'm on fire! Did he heal? An end! Phase two? Phase two? Yes! First try. First try. Repair the stargazer. Another great fight. That was a pretty good fight. I feel like it needed. Just a little bit more somewhere. I don't. I don't know. I know I died to it a lot, so I may ring hollow. But like, I feel like it needed a little bit. The fact that it was easier than the last boss is ever so slightly disappointing. I feel like it needed like one more attack or like like a quick attack or something. I don't know. It's something else. I don't know. More oil on the floor. Yeah, maybe maybe some more fire on the floor. Just just something else. I don't know. This game is really good. I like this game a lot. I'm looking forward to playing this more tomorrow. Fire doesn't despawn, so you have to manage space. I, I, if he'd have to have a different fire attack thing, because the fire attack he has is kind of crap. For that, there's no way. All right, does it auto save? I'm gonna guess yes. I can just quit, right? Save and quit, exit, title screen.
Was it easier or did you get used to the rhythm of the game? Mm, I don't know. I feel like it was easier. I feel like the, the last boss had more going on. This boss had more slower delayed attacks, so maybe. Hmm. I feel like this boss had a lot of openings because it would do flamethrower and I could stand in front of him and get free hits and he would do his forward dashing attack a charge and I could like dodge behind him and get free hits. He would do his like Medir I'm going to do some sweeping attacks and, and fuck off away from you and if you just deflect the first one then you can run behind him and get free hits. There's a lot of rooms for punishing and that's fine. You can have a boss that's easier to punish but I feel like... Maybe he just needed to hit harder? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I don't get me wrong. I died on, on it uh, quite a bit. It wasn't easy. But... I don't know. Anyway, that's it for me. I will see you all tomorrow for more. Uh, before I go, thank you to Wing Edge for the resub. Thank you very much, Wing Edge. Thank you, TFK365, for the resub. All these, some of these have been here for a while. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you, Top Lolly, for the resub. Summoned from, from the Joms talk. Under Era for the resub as well. Thank you very much, Under Era. And thank you, Dr. Octagonopus94, specifically for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Doctor. Do you have a medical degree? There's one piece of new updated 17th Harma fan art that I've withheld ahead of time. It's the Crimson Feet one. Is that fine? I'm not I'm not really a big fan of making these judgment calls because I feel like a, a Puritan, but let's see. Crimson feet one. That's hard. Okay, I don't know. That one That one might be okay. The the black gap between the knees is what's kind of possibly sending it over. Everything else is like, eh, you know, it's like, it's all right. That might be okay. Topically, we are towing the line here, though. Hmm. I think if maybe you censor that part, it'll it'll be way better, right? That's not gonna make it make it worse. <laughs> I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I think it's okay. I don't think it means I don't think it means that either, but I think at a glance it it might look like that for a second. That's the issue. I think it's okay. Anyway, that's it for me. I will see you. I have so many DMs. Oh man, I have so many DMs. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night, chat.